Hello everybody and a very warm welcome and indeed welcome back if you've been with us all through the day today. Uh, you're watching Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby and we are here for a launch party uh, where we are going to be rocketing through some amazing deals. And do you know what? A launch party, we usually have a launch but the majority of the items that we have on the show are kind of um, some of our favourite launches um, of recent times. Today, We've got one launch, two launch, three launches for you, uh, plus a whole host of other goodies as well. Uh, and let me just tell you, we are super duper excited as to what we're gonna be bringing you over the course of the next couple of hours. Worth bearing in mind as well that you'll find everything you need on the website, whether you're shopping at crafterscompanion.com.co.uk or .eu. Whilst you're there, do also check out the £10 Tuesday or $10 Tuesday link. You'll see it there on the homepage. Click into it and pick up some amazing deals. I know some of the deals. Uh, in fact, um, one of the deals which I picked out on the earlier show already sold out. Uh, so get those whilst you can. Uh, and you really will see some amazing deals on the website today. But we are all here for, well, what are you here for? Are you here for the new paper pads? Are you here for the brand new uh, Academy of Colour Box? Or are you here for both? Um, I'll tell you, one lady who is here for both because she's going to be taking us through uh, everything on the show uh, and indeed inspiring us, I'm sure, with loads of great demonstrations. It is the lovely Lily, how are you? As excited as I am? Just a little bit excited. Yeah. I've been in the office all day and I've just been itching to get to this <laughs> show. I've been so, so excited. I can't believe we've got basically three launches yeah. and a launch party. Blimey me, we really are spoiling you here tonight. So sit back, enjoy the show, make sure you pick up all your lovely new goodies that we've got on today's show. But just enjoy, so it's going to be absolutely fabulous. It really is. And do you know what? Um, I, I said it right throughout the day today. If you have questions um, about the brand new Academy of Colour particularly, then uh, get those in over the course of the show. We've got uh, Susie on the social. Superstar Susie is with us. Uh, already checking in Kimberly, Jane Millwood and Lynn Harvey. Uh, Barbara Rostovsky is in from Indiana too. Um, I, I, let's make this as interactive as possible. If you've got any questions about any of the new launches, particularly the Academy of Colour. And also, um, if you've already kind of bought into this and you're already sort of on your colouring journey, do let us know why you're loving it so much. Uh, let us know maybe um, where you are, how you've improved with your colouring. Uh, let us know how you found all of those um, interactive sessions um, with Leanne as well. Let's make it nice and interactive and share the love for this amazing um, product that we've got. Terry's with us from Ohio. Patrice is with us from Dallas as well. Um, and I think we are going to get started uh, with the Academy of Colour. Um, so, this is brilliant, right? As a standalone item, absolutely phenomenal. Um, and I know there'll be a lot of people potentially looking at this for the first time today and thinking, well, this is amazing. Everything that you need in one box um, to help you become the colorist that you want to be in. You know what, we always talk about coloring. I think that a lot of people uh, get stressed out particularly when it comes to skin color, when it comes to uh, doing hair color and all these kind of things. You've got everything that you need in one box here uh, to be able to help you along that journey. We'll have a good look in the box in just a second, but all the pens that you need are brand new duo colors, which we'll talk about. You've got all of the relevant cards that you need and the stamps plus loads more in there too. It's 27 pounds 19 for the box platinum or $35.96. When you add into that, that you've got over 18 hours worth of tutorials with Leanne, this makes this invaluable. You can't, you can't put a price on that as far as I'm concerned. Now, as Lily will explain and we'll talk about, this is a standalone box. If you just want to get this today, you can do. However, a lot of you will already know we launched uh, the Academy of Colour back along. So there is another box which we'll talk about and show you over the course of this show. You can use them independently of each other. If you've already bought the original Academy of Colour, you'll be buying this today as a bolt-on. If you haven't already bought that, I know you'll be getting this today and I've got a funny feeling, if budget allows, you'll be going back uh, and getting the original launch of the Academy of Colour as well. Because Lily, as we, as we get ready to look into the, um, the new box, this is all about that journey, isn't it? Mm -hmm. we, we give you kind of all of the tools that you need, but it's the tuition that people have been talking about, isn't it? The online tuition with Leanne, which is invaluable, really. Absolutely, I mean, the price of that box is incredible, even without the education, but what really sets this apart from any other pen you buy, might buy, any other stamps you yeah. might buy, is that education. As far as I'm concerned, there is no better teacher than Leanne. And to get her almost like a one-to-one, -one, you can stop, 
You can pause, you can rewind, you can replay as many times as you like. To get all that education that is tailored to the stamps and the pens within this box is absolutely invaluable. And the phrase that Ben used um, earlier was the one I actually said to him this morning. I said, you cannot put a price on that education. And honestly, when you find out quite how much you're going to learn, you'll absolutely understand what, exactly why we said that. Um, we're going to delve right in. As I've said, any questions, ask them. If you're brand new to us, then ask those questions as well. And hopefully over the course of the show too, we will give you a little bit of a sneak peek as to what you can expect on those, um, on those tutorials. Um, and it's really easy to access as well. When you get the box, you'll get a little QR code that you'll scan that give you full access to all of the tuition with Leanne. And that's the thing that we've been chatting a lot about is, you, you know, you may have thought about going to craft classes in the past, but then you've thought of the expense, maybe couldn't afford it you've then maybe thought well I'm a little bit nervous about going into a class and sitting alongside everybody else what if I'm not as good as everyone else what if what if I get behind it doesn't matter with this because as Lily says you can uh, watch this at your leisure you can go back re-watch it you can pause it you can skip bits you can go on and you know try other bits and pieces it's all there for you but um, let's have a look at the box um, first of all and what's in it and, and this one obviously specifically all about um, portraits isn't it absolutely and it's one of those things I always say People always envy other people who can colour. Yeah. But when you see people who can colour skin and hair brilliantly, it's almost like that is sort of like the top tier. If you yeah. can colour those two things, it's one of those things you look at and think, I wish I could do that. But get this box and absolutely you will be able to learn that. But should we do a little bit of your unboxing? Open the box. Open oh, the box. this is so, so exciting. This is exactly what you're going to be doing when you get yours home. Just sit back, grab a cup of tea or whatever your tipple of choice few biscuits of course and get <laughs> unboxing this and you will be amazed at everything you get so first of all it's an absolutely gorgeous quality box we actually have a magnetic clasp um, on the box and I choose to store mine within the box I don't decant the pens into any other storage it's all housed perfectly within this and this is something straight away that I absolutely love if you have the original box you'll see it says your colouring journey starts here but on this portraits box, it's your colouring journey continues. And that is so true. Your colouring journey is just going to go from strength to strength with this amazing portraits box. So we open it, it's very much like an expensive box of chocolates, mm. <gasps> but even better. Ooh. These will last a lot longer and give you a lot more pleasure. No calories either. No calories, all enjoyment with these for <laughs> sure. We've got this gorgeous sort of velvety line tray, beautiful quality. And you can see on our first layer, we've got all our pens. So we've got six of the duo colour um, alcohol markers and we've got three of the um, duo colour aqua markers. So if you do have the original box, it's the same sort of format um, of pen, just different colourways. And as you can see, they've all been specifically handpicked by Leanne to be perfect for colouring all your portraits. And these are brush nibbed marker. Absolutely beautiful quality brush nib. I mean, look how fine that nib tapers down to. It's such a fine point on there. It's going to enable you to get all your detail in all your stamped images. But that brush nib is absolutely wonderful for laying down smooth layers of colour, for getting all those flicking techniques mm. that are so important for doing all your hair that Leanne will show you in the lessons. Absolutely gorgeous quality on these nibs. And they are dual ended, like I say, so you have one colour on one end and another on the other. But they are complementary, sort of from the same colour family. And we've got the same numbering system that we use on our regular Spectrum Noir range, like your classics, like your illustrators, and your tri blends. So if you are used to your Spectrum Noir range, you'll understand this numbering system. And we have a name, but we also have some letters and a number. Lower numbers are the paler um, colours, and your higher numbers are your darker colours. Um, and then you've got your letters which denote what sort of colour family. So these are our FS, 8 and 6, so we know that they're from the same colour family, so they'll work together. But this is something that Leanne will take you through step by step um, within all of your lessons. So she really does break it down and make it so easy to understand. Yeah. So we've got our alcohol pens within there, but we also get our aqua pens. And this is quite unusual for um, sort of a colouring system, a colouring journey. It would tend to be one or the other, but Leanne really wanted to give you the best of both worlds. So she's not just going to teach you how to colour portraits in alcohol pens or in aqua pens. She's going to show you both. So it's absolutely incredible to get almost like a two for one within one um, sort of educational system. It's absolutely incredible. And again, we've got that lovely quality brush nib on our aqua pens. Just gorgeous quality on these. But that, it doesn't stop there. We come to our next layer. So all we're gonna do is so just gonna remove that um, first Ooh, layer of pens. And then, ooh, 
So you might be wondering exactly what this is all about. So this is our stamp storage panel. And if you have got the original box, if you've not, make sure you check out the website because I think if you get this, you'll know you're going to need um, the original as well. But within the original, you actually get a stamp storage binder. Yeah. And your um, all your sort of add-on boxes, like your portraits that you're bringing, um, we're bringing you today, they all go within that original binder. So if you've got your original and you're getting your portraits, you can store your stamps on this panel and it goes in this gorgeous quality binder and you know you've got all your stamps there so you know exactly where they're going to be. So that's our stamp storage panel. But if we've got a storage panel, we're going to need some stamps. Of course. And we're bringing you some absolutely beautiful stamps. It's an 8 by 8 inch um, stamp sheet full of clear stamps that have been specifically hand drawn um, to work with all the techniques that Leanne's showing you in the lessons. So they're not just random images. Leanne's not just using some stamps that she's had in, his, in a stash for years or that she thinks are really nice but you might not particularly have. She uses these exact images in the lessons so you know that you're not going to have to go elsewhere and find some stamps that are going to work with the techniques. These are the ones that Leanne will use in the lessons. And you can see we've got lots of different hairstyles in there. We've even got some folds in the dresses that Leanne mm. will show you how to colour. So lots and lots of colouring opportunities within that fabulous 8x8 eight eight inch stamp sheet. And then the sort of crowning glory um, within the kit. Leanne sort of wants to put absolutely everything within this kit that you're going to need. So we're giving you the pens, of course. We're giving you the stamps, but we're also giving you the cardstock both the watercolour card and the alcohol marker card in 5 by 7 size. So it's a great size to work with your stamps. It's large enough that it will work with these stamps, but it's great if you are colouring on the go. And it's great for sort of practice size mm. pieces, a lovely size on your cardstock. And that's all included. That would be fabulous and absolutely amazing value for 33.99 today mm. before we even talk about platinum. But that education that is worth far more than 33.99. Let's be honest, it's, as we said earlier, it's completely invaluable. So when you sort of start to break it down, I would quite frankly, I would be paying, and I have paid a lot for pens in the past. I mean, there's alcohol markers that are very, very expensive on the market. And don't get me wrong, they're lovely quality, but I'd be paying 33.99 just for these markers. And well, then you've got all, got all the stamps, you've got the card, and you've got the education. When you start to break it down, it's absolutely unbelievable value for money, but just absolutely fabulous to be learning all your portraits, all your skin, all your hair, all the techniques that you can be applying to the stamps that you've already got in your stash. Absolutely incredible. I have to say, so, so excited about this one. It's amazing. I know you're going to be incorporating this throughout the shows. I just want to spend some time because it's so lovely when we do these shows and you then send messages to us to tell us what you think about the various uh, products. Gwenda G, the portraits class is amazing, says Gwenda. Get this box and take the class. You will not regret it. That's from Gwenda. Thank you, Gwenda. Mary Pat 1000 says, the Academy of Colour is one of my top investments in my life and that's no exaggeration leanne's class is outstanding mary pat thank you for that uh, fred 171 says the academy of color is more than worth the expense the lessons are priceless and you can repeat them over and over for free that's what we're talking about you go to a craft class you go there once you pay your money however much you pay 20 25 pounds 30 30 pounds for the hour whatever it is and it's gone a lot more than that yeah trust me yeah i'm going cheap end well, but, <laughs> but, but the, the, the thing is with that as well is if you don't then pick it up within the hour or do you know what I mean? The rest of the yeah. class goes ahead of you, then that's it. You can't then just go, oh, can we can we do it again? Well, you can, yeah. but you have to pay more money. Um, Gwenda G says, because the Academy of Colour or because of the Academy of Colour, I was able to wipe the dust off my tri-blend pens and now I'm colouring. I'm using stamps that have been unopened because I couldn't colour before. Academy of Colour is worth the cost. Uh, and Julie Lowe on YouTube says, Hello everyone, I'm a huge fan of the Academy of Colour. I've been working through the portrait lesson. The lessons are amazing. Just a couple more here, because it's, it's worth hearing from you guys, because obviously we're going to say this is amazing. Um, but you guys are just saying exactly the same. Lynn Harvey says, The stamps are lovely. Uh, I'm loving all of the different hairstyles. And Sharon Horn says, The stamps are so much fun to colour and to practice your alcohol and water colouring uh, with. I've had a great time practicing with these. And that's what it should be. If you've been someone who's been scared about colouring, not started because you just thought, oh, I'm just going to get nowhere with this. Or maybe you're 
doing a bit of colouring and you've got a bit of a, stuck in a rut, you don't know where to go with it, honestly, invest in the Academy of Colour and uh, you can see already from just a few of the comments that we've got coming through, uh, you're going to find this is going to help you take your colouring to the next level. Also worth bearing in mind on the show, um, let's get into some demos, uh, we've got the Winter's Tale 12 by 12 and also the Winter Solstice um, paper pads for you too. Uh, these have been flying out of the door, uh, 36 sheets in total, uh, £11.99 uh, or uh, $15.96 is your price. I'll give you a quick flick through these. We've um, seen a lot of these throughout the show today. Uh, I know you want to get on and see some demos, but uh, we'll spend more time on these perhaps a little bit later on. But gorgeous, gorgeous um, patterns on here, gorgeous detailing, plenty of snippability uh, as we discussed a little bit earlier on as well. So if you like to create your sort of six by six backgrounds, you can. And as you can see, it's all very compatible as far as the color choices are concerned. And like we said, a lot of these will marry up very nicely with uh, things like the Frosty and Bright collection and um, your snowman, your vintage snowman that we've launched. And certainly some of the launches that we had last year as well, things like the Twas the Night Before Christmas, got a great deal on a uh, bundle from that, by the way, uh, which you'll find on the Shop the Day page. And then the Winter Solstice, I think this is the fav my favorite of the two, actually. Mm -hmm. I love that sort of Scandi art feel to this. Um, it's quite quirky, it's quite fun. Which is your favorite of the two new pads, Lily? Well, well, I have to say the one I've used more of is the other one, a winter's okay. tail. Yeah, but I really like on the one you're showing at the moment, the winter sol solstice, even though I can't say that word, it's impossible. <laughs> the other one we'll call it, yeah, the one that's the not one. a winter's tail. I really like the reverse of the pages. Yeah. And um, so the designs where you get sort of less design, the snowy backgrounds, they're just super, super useful. Whatever you've got in your stash, um, Christmas theme, those are just going to work. So really, and, and really useful. Like pack. we said, a lot of the reverse on these, you can use, like here, for example, you can use year round, can't you? Absolutely, yeah. Christmas. Yeah, definitely. So just even more value for money. But to get two new 12 by 12 paper pads, we are spoiling you. Super, super excited that we're launching these today. They are absolutely stunning. I mean, look at those colorways. Really fresh, really contemporary, really stylish. Absolutely love those. You've got to add them to your stash, don't you, really? Let us know many, how many you've bought of these. Um, oh, yes. Not just one. You don't buy one. You can't you? buy... I said earlier on, buy as many as you think you need and then buy more. Yes, absolutely. Because we've got deep stocks currently, but you, as I said, people will come in, they'll buy, and then you don't get to the point where you're sort of through a project and then you find out that you need more and you come to buy it you know, a few months down the line and it's disappeared. So mm -hmm. get more than you need right now. Um, Something else which I'm hugely excited to say that we've got on the show is the Christmas card front colouring pad set. These are fantastic and a great kind of um, thing to go along with your Academy of Colour. So you're going to get um, four of these um, little mini paper pads. So they're um, five, by three, three, five by three and three quarter inches and you're getting 39 sheets in each. And the great thing about this is you get a selection of different images. I'll show you on the boards, it's easier to see. Um, and then you'll also get um, some little uh, pop-out toppers that you've got in the back with your sentiments on. So you get six different designs, six of each, and then three pages of the, um, the toppers to go in the back. And I'll show you the different designs that you're going to get. These are seriously cute. So you've got your Merry Christmas to all, which is a bit more of your sort of um, traditional Christmas with Father Christmas there. I do quite like the, um, the reindeer with the baubles mm. hanging off his arms. He's fab, isn't he? Um, you've also got your uh, Nature's Christmas which is more sort of uh, foliage and greenery, isn't it? Foliage, yep. Flange. Nice bit of foliage. Then you've got the miracle of Christmas, which is, of course, talking about the, uh, the birth of Christ and the nativity. Some really, really lovely images right there. If you got your Bethlehem collection the other week, oh, that yes. goes perfectly with Great that. shout. Uh, and then you've got your winter scenes in there too. So you can see like really nice, big, uh, bold, vibrant images for you to colour with your Academy of Colour. I'll just quickly show you as well that you do get in each sheet, as I've said, um, some beautiful foil toppers. So you've got it in the, um, the sort of rose gold, you've got the gold and the silver in there too, and those will just simply pop out for you. Selection of different sentiments on each of the different pads that you've got. I reckon that's huge value for money, £25.56 platinum or $33.16. And once again, think about Christmas time, think about crafting. Get crafting with the kids, get crafting mm. with the grandkids. If they're thinking about maybe making cards for their friends this Christmas, you know, to hand out for the rest of the class, this is a perfect, inexpensive way to be able to do it because these are perfect size for simply colouring, aren't they, and just popping onto a card front. Absolutely. These are 
absolutely fabulous. I love a card front colouring pad. I was lucky enough to launch these. It was just last Sunday here on Crafters TV. Yeah. And I love the fact we've got such a range and such a mix of different sorts of types of images on there. So we've got really traditional, we've got more contemporary, we've got really sort of religious theme, we've got all the florals, something for every single Christmas, but not just Christmas, think winter in general too. All your different cards, so they are absolutely stunning. Love those. Um, we're going to get onto that first demo with that collection um, right now. Kimberly J Millwood says, "I've just ordered two more of the Winter's Tail. I love it." <laughs> uh, Sandra received my Winter's Tail paper pad. It is a must. And oh, um, gosh, says uh, Sharon, these paper pads are so gorgeous. I was able to pick them up uh, when they were shown on HSN. They are beautiful. Um, Stephen says, "I received my colouring pads today." Ooh, Keep the comments coming that's through. That's quick. That is quick. Ooh. What did you launch on Sunday? Sunday. What day is it? It's Tuesday. Wow. That is super duper quick, isn't it? Mm. Go us with the uh, well speedy warehouse. service. warehouse. Yay. It's because we've got the new warehouse, you see, I know. It, see? Oh, it's snazzy. It snazzy is. new warehouse. You, uh, you might see Sarah in a, just a little while in her Ooh. hard hat looking around the warehouse, mm. but that's to come. Uh, exactly. Keep the comments coming. Keep the uh, testimonials coming through as well. Any questions you want answered, yeah, send those in. Uh, but Lily's going to be using the Academy of Colour. And by the way, we'll look at the original Academy of Colour in just a little while. Are you using like a mixture of um, pens for this demo? Absolutely. Okay. So what I'm going to do I'm, is I'm going to work with these fabulous car front colouring pads. But I'm going to be bringing in all the pens from the original Academy of Colour and the brand new Portraits box. Just to show you how, when, once you've learnt those techniques that Leanne's going to show you in the lessons, you can apply that to the different stamps or in this case the colouring pads that you've already got in your stash which is super super exciting but what we're going to start with is going to start with this absolutely beautiful Santa image when I actually got my colouring pads home um, for the first time this was actually the first image that I coloured in I absolutely love this image it's so traditional um, but it's so much fun to colour and it's just a case of applying the techniques that you've learned in your lessons and um, to really really enjoy colouring in this image now we're going to start with the face and I'm going to start with colours just from the um, portrait traits box for the skin. So I've taken my pen which is FS6 and FS8 and remember when we are um, working with our pens lower number is lighter, higher number is a darker colour. I'm going to start with our lightest colour within this blend which is FS6 and all we're going to do is we're going to start just on the face or shall we start on the hand? Let's start on the hand. It's a little bit um, more manageable, a little bit easier. We're going to start on the hand and all we're going to do is we're going to take our um, pen we're just going to go around and we're going to fill in this whole area. Now, as we can see on this image, we've got two sort of um, areas of skin. So we've got the hand and we've also got the face. Now, I always talk about when we are colouring to um, focus on one small section at a time. Once you're happy with that section and you sort of mastered that area, then move on to the next section. Don't see, oh, we've got two areas of skin on here and we've got to colour them all at the same time. Absolutely not. Just focus on one small section, break that image down into sort of bite-sized chunks, work on one area and then move on to the next one. It's a lot more manageable and it's also a lot easier to work when your um, ink is wet. It's a lot easier to blend wet ink than it is dry card. So all we're doing is we're laying down that colour. I tend to work in sort of circular motions as I find it gives us a smoother lay down of colour onto that image. We're just filling in that whole area. Once we're happy that we've filled in that area and we've got a nice smooth blend, we're going to go in with our darker colour, which is our FS8. And we know because they're both FS um, codes that they're going to work together in the same colour family. We're just going to start to add some shading in here. Now before you colour in any part of an image, no matter how big or small it is, just take a little bit of time to sort of read that image, look at your image and start to think and start to come up with a plan as to where the light and shade will be. But with these car front colouring pads, there's not an awful lot of thinking you're going to have to do because all that hard work has already been done for you. All the lines, all the detailed lines have been put into that image already. So I can see around this area we've got more lines, a higher concentration of lines it means it's going to be a little bit dark. We've got more shadow there and just start to put in your darker areas. When there's areas that are overlapping another piece, the piece in front is going to be further forward so it's going to be lighter, whereas the piece behind we've got a shadow being cast onto that area so that's going to be darker. And it's just a case of not overthinking things too much um, and just going in and start to lay down that darker colour. This is something that Leanne will teach you. She'll go through this step by step. She'll break it all down. She'll explain, not only say this is what we're doing, but she'll tell you exactly why um, this is the technique that we're using. She, so she really does break it down step by step, exactly how to colour these images. 
So then we're going to go back to our FS6 and all we're going to do is we're just going to blend out that darker tone just to get a slightly smoother blend on there. So just working around and pulling out that colour. So we're going to blend it through a little bit more. Now this obviously isn't one of the images that you got included within your lesson. So Leanne doesn't teach you specifically how to colour this image. No. All we're doing is we're applying the techniques that we've learned in the Academy of Colour Portraits class and we're applying it to our own images. It's all about learning a specific technique. The sort of image isn't the most important thing, it's the technique that you're learning. And that's the joy, surely, isn't it? That you, you'll take the Academy of Colour classes and then because you learn so much, you then look at images like this. Oh, oh, we can't hear Ben, but... Um, we're saying basically, basically what we're saying is the enjoyment is it's learning those techniques so when you start off you're sort of wanting to be copying everything exactly that Leanne's doing but as you progress you'll realize you're learning techniques you're not learning how to color an image you're learning the thinking behind how we color that image and that's the most pow powerful thing it's that that knowledge that you can apply to whatever you've already got in your stash. So we had that lovely lady commenting earlier um, saying how she can now get out some of the stamps that she's not used for years because now she feels able to colour those in. And that's absolutely what the Academy of Colour is all about. It's all about breathing new life perhaps into your old stash, learning new techniques that's going to really progress you as a colourist. And that for me is what's really, really exciting. Now when I think of Santa Claus, I always think of him as having a lovely sort of rosy warm glow. So to sort of um, brighten up and give him his, uh, his skin a little bit of a warmer, warmer tone to it, all I'm doing is I'm taking another pen, which is my FS4. Same again from the portraits box, um, and it's just a sort of a slightly warmer tone. And just in certain areas, some of the darker areas on that image, I'm going to add just little highlights of this FS4 and that's just going to warm his skin up a little bit more um, and give you a lovely finish onto that and I think Ben has returned. I have returned. I may become the artist that I've always wanted to be and that's such a lovely message and it just goes to show doesn't it because a lot of people asked I remember when we launched a lot of people were asking like who's the Academy of Colour for and it's like I mean it's for all ages really isn't it I mean what, what's the sort of lower age you would say really can you hear me now can I we can hear you now I'm yeah. allowed to you're, speak. you're allowed to speak now yeah Yay, I can yeah. speak it's for absolutely anybody. I mean, we've had messages from um, people who are saying, you know, they're doing it with their children, their grandchildren. It can be a family sort of um, experience if you want. Um, we had one lovely lady actually get in touch to say, I think it was her and her husband were doing it as sort of a date night. They're having a lovely um, colouring night together and they were learning together. So absolutely, I mean, I, would, I wouldn't put an age limit on it, really. I mean, if you've got children doing it, I definitely have a little bit of adult supervision. Yeah. Um, obviously, just, just be sensible. But, I mean, there's nothing dangerous in the boxes. We've not got anything sharp or anything like that. But um, it's a lovely thing to do together as well. Don't just think about um, colouring on your own. Think about colouring with your friends. Maybe you want to sit down on mm. an evening and go through the classes together or bring your boxes and yeah, bring your, nice your stamped idea. images and just... Make it a lovely community. I mean, we've got such a lovely community online. Um, our Facebook group, which you're very, very welcome to join, um, the Academy of Colour um, colouring page that we've got on Facebook once you get your box home. And I had a little check earlier today. We've got over 4,000 members. And That's it's amazing. It's incredible, isn't it? Such a supportive community. We love to see your work. All our um, lovely crafty friends are sharing their work. They're asking questions and they're asking advice. And But most of all, it's such a good feeling sort of group. It's an encouraging it's, group, it's isn't incredible, it? A lot of yeah. encouragement. Absolutely. I mean, some of the um, testimonials that I've read on there, people who thought they could never colour, perhaps have tried to colour before and they've really struggled and just saying how well they're getting on with the programme. It's one of those things that just sort of warm your heart. It's such a lovely community. Um, so it's not just a case of we're going to sell you the box and we're going to leave you to watch the videos. Yeah, we're giving you the videos, but... There's not a lot of support after that, absolutely not. It could not be further from the truth. You even get Leanne going in the group, um, giving all advice, giving tips, giving your heads up, 
lots and lots in there. It's absolutely incredible to get all that support. Yeah. Honestly, it's every single step of the way we're taking you um, on your amazing colouring journey. But it's such an exciting journey to be on. It's just amazing. And this video here just sort of shows you, you know, we've got the lady here who's got her uh, Academy of Colour. She's got the, the, the little one there colouring in as well. Um, and that does just show you, we will come on to the actual, uh, the original Academy of Colour in just a little while. A few people have been asking, um, are there more boxes to come? There are, Ooh, and especially yes. if you've got the Academy of colour you'll know am I allowed to say what the other ones are I think people know don't they well you, well, you can find out because they're in the storage binder the, yeah, um, if that's what I mean through, yeah so yeah, I, I'll sure tell you so you've say. got there are more boxes so following on from portraits would be flora and fauna feathers and fur cute characters then you've got the duo colour aqua pencils to come Ooh. and the duo colour wax pencils so to answer the question there's another one two three there's another five more um installments to come if you like and by the end of it you, uh, you you get your little certificate as well to show that you've graduated from the academy of color which i think is really cute i'm hoping i'm going to get one of them but i'm not sure whether i'll i'll be allowed one but you get <laughs> one of course you will i hope i can graduate but honestly i think that's lovely to be able to get that at the end it's just so so exciting but if we come back to our lovely santa we've colored all his skin in now using exactly the same technique on the face as we did on the hand but we're going to go into his beard now so the pens we're going to use for this is we're going to go to our original box. We're going to go for our ice grey 2, 5 and our ice grey 8. So you might, have, you might be looking at this and thinking, goodness me, I've never um, coloured a beard before. You might be thinking of the stamps that we've got in our portraits box and thinking, well, they're, they're just lovely lady stamps. We've not got any beards inside. How are we going to sort of apply what we've learned in this portraits lesson to this particular image? Well, if we think about it, we're colouring the beard and all his hair in exactly the same way that we'd be colouring the hair um, on a, a lovely lady's hair. So it's just exactly the same sort of technique. So all we're going to be doing is we're going to be using that same flicking technique. So we're going to start off with our palest colour within this blend, which is IG2. And again, like I always say, we're going to start um, on a small section of this image. We're not going to colour the whole beard um, all at once much more manageable just to focus on a smaller section. So we're going to focus on this little area of his moustache just over here. And we're going to start by mapping out um, this colour with our lightest colour onto this area. So I'm following the lines. We've got plenty of lines within this. I always want to call it a stamped image. It's not a stamped image, but you know what I mean. Within yeah. our um, printed image, that's the one. We're just following um, those lines that we've already got in there. And remember where the lines are, we're going to have more shading um, so we're going to apply more ink from our pen onto those areas. I'm just flicking upwards. I think Leanne flicks downwards. I was watching the other day. She, I'm sure she flicks in the opposite direction mm. to what I do. But it's just whatever's most comfortable for you. And if you've got your rotating design board from Totally Tiffany, that's fabulous to use with this um, as well. I've not got mine out here, but it makes your life a lot easier. Yeah. So preserve your highlight in the middle. So leave an area in the middle that you're... Um, you're leaving us white and you're not colouring in and then we're going to go to our next colour which is IG5 and we're just going to go over this area but not the whole way probably about half of the area that we've already coloured we're going to fill in with IG5. Um, Do you, you obviously um, sort of further down the journey of, of, of colouring when you approach something like this are you, are you I mean obviously you're explaining it to us now because you, you know that that's what you're here to do but mm. when you do it at home is it just have you got to the point where it's just automatic you know what you're kind of going for or are you, are you still having to kind of like compute it and process it all or, or does it just become such an automatic thing once you've got to a certain level I think it just becomes second nature I mean yeah. I, I colour almost every day um, I love colouring it is probably my favourite craft thing to do although that's hard to decide but I colour so often I think you just it's one of those things that is very much practice there's certain things that you're either good at or you're not or yeah. there's certain things that's practice and I think colouring absolutely is practice the more yeah. you do it the more you learn um, and it does just become second nature uh, but I just absolutely love to I could while away the hours just sitting and colouring that's what they fabulous. say isn't it practice is the uh, is the road to perfection um, just a few more comments whilst we're watching. You must say hi to Linda, who's joined us from Dudley. Um, also, Mary Reno, who's in from Maine. Um, Irene says, I love the Academy of Colour. Uh, I'm visiting my in-laws in Italy, and you betcha, I took my Academy of Colour materials to practice my colouring. Who needs to explore Italy, says Irene. I mean, the Academy of Colour is good, but I mean, do some exploring as well, because, you know, Italy's it's not too bad, is it, Italy? Uh, <laughs> Uh, Lynn says, isn't it fab that as soon as Lily started to add the darker shade to Santa's face, 
it gave him his character. Yeah, it's great how you're seeing it like all come together and again, realizing that this is achievable for everybody um, with these academies of color. And Fred171 says, finally, a doctorate in doodling. I love that. <laughs> yeah, you get yourself your very own doctorate in doodling. Stick it on your CV. Absolutely, fabulous. Yeah. So we went in with our IG5 and then okay. at the very, very edges we went with our darkest tone, which is our IGA. And then we just blended that out ever so slightly. We went back in with our mid-tone just to pull out that colour. With it being a little bit darker, we just went and pulled out that colour. Then we're going back in with a little bit more IGA just to darken up in those very darkest areas of shade onto here. And that would be the same technique we'd use for that whole of that beard, we'd repeat that technique. But just before we finish on this one, I really want to show you a little bit of adding grey underneath the colour. And this is something that Leanne will teach you in that first lesson. And it's one of those techniques when you start, you think, goodness me, what am I doing? This is not going to work. Mm -hmm. And you sort of watch Leanne do it and you think, I know Leanne's good, but are you sure, are you sure you're doing the right thing, Leanne? But of course, she knows exactly what she's doing and it gives you the most amazing finished result. So we're going to focus on just this little area at the bottom um, of Santa's coat. And we're going in with our IG8. And at this point, you're thinking, this is quite a dark grey. We want to have a nice red coat. What, what is this all about? But all will become apparent. So we're going to just go around the very edges um, of this area of his um, coat, of his sleeve. And we're going to add some um, shade around the bottom of his cuff. There'll be a shadow cast there and just around the top. We're not going to add too much in. Then what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our DR pen and we're going to go with our lightest of the two reds on here, which is our DR2. And all we're going to do is we're just going to go over most of this area like so, just to fill in that colour, just like we would if that grey wasn't there. And then all we're going to do, we're just going to make sure we've got a nice, smooth, even lay down of colour. So going over a couple of times just to build up and fully saturate those fibres of the card. And then we're going to go in with our darkest red, which is our DR4. And this is where we're going to start to blend out and go over that grey that we added almost as a base layer. And this is a great technique. You can use it with any colour. It doesn't have to be red, but it's great to add even more shadow, even more depth and dimension to your coloured images. It makes those colours pop. And you wouldn't know by the time that this is finished that you've actually got grey underneath these lovely red tones. And something else to note as well is that, that I'm working with a piece of scrap paper. It doesn't have to be speci speci oh, specialist uh, paper underneath. It doesn't have to be a Nina card. It can just be any um, regular copy of paper, but it just acts as a blotter. And that's something that Leanne also explains in the lessons as to exactly why you need to do that. Um, but always make sure you do have a piece of cardstock underneath. We've just gone back to our DR2 just to blend out, the, blend out even those edges and then we're just going to darken up the very edges again with that DR4, our darkest red. And all that's done by adding that grey, it's allowed us to get an even more inten intense shadow on the edges of, of this image. Darker than we'd get if we were just to use our reds on there, but it makes that really, really pop. How three-dimensional. Does that Santa sleeve looks, look there? Yeah, amazing. Looks amazing. Mm. So only two reds onto there, just with your grey underneath. And like I say, you can do that with any colour that you like, um, but it's an amazing technique. And if we carried on colouring in exactly the same way, Brilliant. we'd end up with something like this. But something I've done on the beard um, and the areas of white of the fur as well is I've taken my IB1 and I've just swiped just a few little bits of um, blue into those areas there just to really give that extra touch to sort of it's weird because we're trying to make it look kind of white but by adding more color in it's weird because it makes it look more white mm. which is um, a bit of an unusual thing but it does really make that pop to finish this off i've also added a little bit of glossy highlights and um, just to his glasses but i'm going to go around with my ib1 and this is a nice little technique to finish off any of your stamped images and i'm just going to outline the whole image um, with my IB1 and again this is from the original box and this is just going to make our Santa really pop um, from this backing piece and as well just to note I've slightly chopped down um, the card front colouring pad so it's slightly um, shorter than they are from the original pad which absolutely you can do you can chop these down to size um, as you see fit but just going around with that um, blue and look how much that makes that pop now off that background it looks absolutely fabulous and then we're just going to make this 
into a finished card. So what we're doing is we're going to take a little bit of red, piece of red cardstock, slightly larger um, than our topper. And as we turn this over, you can see we've got the colour on the back. That's completely normal. Um, alcohol pen ink will um, travel through to the back of the card. That's one of the reasons why we have um, our blotter, our piece of cardstock underneath. That's totally normal. That's what we sort of expect. So don't be alarmed by that. Don't think you've got the wrong sort of cardstock. That is to be expected. So a little uh, red matte layer. Of course, we've been talking about them um, all day long and they are absolutely fabulous. I've got to bring in those amazing brand new um, 12 by 12 inch papers that we've got on today's show. And I believe this is from A Winter's Tale. And I've just cut these down to size and I'm matting and layering onto that same red cardstock that we just matted our image onto. That's just going to bring out, you can see we've got the candy canes on there, those little flashes of red, so that'll bring that red out and tie everything together. And I've got two pieces like that. And then if we bring in our card base, so a six by six inch card base, but I've scored again in half um, on that left hand side, and we're going to create this into an easel card. So a little bit of, I nearly said tacky glue, I don't know where that came from. Tape That's not glue. tacky glue. Definitely not tacky glue, far from it. And we're going to attach our extra piece onto there to tapey make this. glue. Tacky glue, tapey glue, <laughs> into an easel card like so. And then we're going to add our mats and layers onto our base and the top of our easel nice and easy to create but well, how fabulous are these papers it just goes to show how everything that we've got on the show today is working so beautifully together we've got our christmas card front coloring pads we've colored it in using our amazing spectrum Noir academy of color both the original and the brand new portraits box we're also using some of those amazing papers i mean they're absolute must have these papers whatever you've already got in your stash christmas or just winter themed or even every day like ben was saying for some of those prints it's going to work with what you've already got and just make um all your crafty stash go a little bit further but breathe an extra little bit of life into um, what you've already got so we've got our fabulous mats and layers onto there. It's going to be an easel, so we need a stopper. So I've taken a piece of coordinating um, paper from that same paper pad. And I've just chopped this into a strip. I think it's about an inch and a half um, wide. And this is going to act as our stopper for our easel card. So just a couple of rows um, of foam tape onto there. With it being the stopper for an easel card, we just need it to be a little bit 3D. Um, so it stops that easel from falling down. And I always say it's totally up to you how uh, much you sort of have your easel stood up, whether you want it quite far forward or quite upright. It's totally personal preference, just whatever you find um, looks best um, to your eye, really. That's the main thing. And then, of course, we're using one of those amazing foil toppers, foiled and die cut. They're coming in every single one of those card front colouring pads in both silver, in gold and rose gold. And you do get different designs um, in every single one of the pads so no repeats when you get in the full collection which is great so it just gives you lots of different options for your sentiments for all your festive cards and to have them foiled and die cut as well I think is absolutely wonderful and finally we're going to add some foam tape to the back of our topper that we've coloured and then we're going to add this to the top of our card base but how special to have some hand coloured artwork um, coloured by yourself using all the techniques mm. you've learned in your academy of colour to create your own handmade Christmas cards really really easy to do once you've learned all those amazing techniques in your academy of color using those pens using your papers using your car front coloring pads how fabulous does that look but really fun to create loads of love um, for that coming through love the tip about the gray what a great technique to know says sharon and heather said amazing tip about the gray um, absolutely fantastic uh marilyn p says lily you are a fabulous colorist you're oh, inspiring you. and, and and a really um interesting um a kind of note from Fred. He says, I'm noticing how Lily holds the pen. I tried it and it was less strain on the hand and wrist. Is that just the natural way how you've always held a pen? Oh, I hold my pen in a strange way. Well, not in a strange way, just in no, a bit of a I different was, way. But Fred yeah. says that they, they tried it and found it more yeah. it, easy. They tried to drive it out of me at school and I wasn't having it. So, yeah. yeah, this is how I've always held a pen. It's the same whether I'm writing or colouring, but, yeah, if it works for you, then go for it. Definitely. Exactly right. <laughs> oh, great stuff. Uh, and Sharon says, Lily, this looks amazing. Um, if you want to go for the uh, the Christmas card front uh, collection, uh, uh, very, very popular indeed. You can see um, all of the different images that you'll get. It's four pads, basically. Um, you've got the... Um, 
winter scenes there so that gorgeous robin the snow globe uh, the tree you've got the christmas scenes in there as well you get six each of these um, and you're going to get the um the little sentiments as well that you can pop out you've also got in there the uh, miracle of christmas which is depicting that uh, nativity scene. Of course, if you've bought the Bethlehem collection, like Lily was saying earlier on, that is a lovely set to go with it. Six of each of those. Plus, you've got the Nature's Christmas, which is all of those uh, glorious wreaths and those sort of um, uh, sort of candles. What do you say? Poinsettia, thank you so much. Um, yeah, your little wreath on the door there as well. Absolutely beautiful in your festive frames. And then you've got uh, this collection here, which is where Father Christmas is. That's a Merry Christmas to all. Um, and as I said, with all of those, you do get uh, three pages of your um, die cut uh, toppers as well, which are beautifully foiled uh, within those sets. 25.56 or 33.16 is the uh, platinum price if you want to jump in and grab that collection right uh, we are going to give you a chance to check out your baskets right now um, any more questions and comments do keep those coming through uh, and we will get those answered and we'll get those mentioned over the course of the show uh, head to the checkouts and we'll come back with more inspiration in just a few moments time <laughs> look where i am this is our amazing brand new warehouse this is the one you always hear us talk about, our global fulfillment centre, just down the road from our offices. Anyway, it's gorgeous, it's brand spanking new, but already it is literally crammed full to the rafters with stuff. Amazing stuff, but stuff that we need to clear out and make some space for. So the good news is, all of next week, I am taking over the whole channel. Crafters TV is having a full-on Sarah-style takeover for Sarah's Craft Clearout. Now, I'm going to be starting on Monday on the Monday Maker slot. Actually, for those of you that are early, I'll also pinch the wake-up call. I'll do a preview in wake-up call. But we've got deals going on all week. Brand new drops every single day. Amazing shows planned throughout the week. You do not want to miss it. Keep an eye out for an email. Keep an eye out on our socials for more information. And I'll see you bright and early for wake-up call on Monday morning. Quick buy. All your crafting must-haves in a flash. Draw, decorate, and customize your world with the colorful Spectrum Noir acrylic paint markers. Each premium paint marker gives opaque coverage on ceramic, glass, wood, and let's not forget paper, cardstock, and canvas. These versatile markers are filled with highly pigmented premium water-based paint, offering beautiful, rich, and smooth coverage. The colors can be blended together and the fast-drying opaque paint is ideal for layering. A three millimeter bullet tip offers smooth strokes and a precision valve mechanism allows rich and consistent flow with no clogging. Quick buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Quick buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Make light work of intricate and delicate die cutting designs with the Pokey Tool from Crafters Companion. An absolute essential part of any paper crafters kit, its precise tip has been designed to release the tiniest pieces to reveal your finished results with absolute precision. And to make sure your finished project is perfect, each Pokey Tool has a rubber tip protector, so there's no risk of damaging your die cutting design or yourself. The Crafter's Companion Pokey Tool is such an essential craft item, we've included two in each set. Quick buy, get yours now. Uh, welcome back, lots of you checking out your baskets. Um, bravo, Lily, uh, says uh, Marilyn P. Lovely card, Lily, says uh, Carletta. Uh, for Holidays Design, saying lovely Santa and card. Um, and Sharon Horn says, I don't think I needed the colouring pads, but after watching Lily, I have changed my mind. Fantastic. Uh, you, do need, you do need them because, like we said, um, the, the thing about the Academy of Colour is, if you're... Even if, you, like, if you're brand new or you're a little bit nervous, you're getting started, you'll start off with this. This is where you'll build your confidence. And then like Lily says, you'll see things like those colouring pads and then you'll go, well, I'll have those now because I know how I can take what I've learned from the Academy of Colour and put it um, into all these other um, different things. Like we were hearing from, I think it was Gwenda or someone mentioned earlier on, you know, I've had all of my pens sitting gathering dust because I didn't know what to do with them. Use the Academy of Colour. Now I've got the kind of... Um, 
knowledge to uh, to do all of these things um, we've got the brand new academy of color which um, lily unboxed for you a little bit earlier on um, which is uh new today for us here at Crafters TV. You've got um, all of the um, pens in here, of course. Uh, you've got your cardstock in here as well, and all of the stamps. This is a bolt-on, all right? So this, this does go for you uh, if you are, um, if you've already got the Academy of Colour. So if you've already got it, it's brilliant. If you haven't already got the original Academy of Colour, which we'll look at, you can use this independently. You're going to get your selection of pens in here. So you've got your uh, three duo um, aqua markers in here, so your watercolour based pens, um, and then you've got six of your alcohol markers in here too. And you can see that the colours of these are all uh, purposely um, done so that you can create all of these different skin tones. So you can practice all of your skin tones, you can practice getting um, all of the detail right in the hair. And those are the stamps that you're gonna receive as well. And, and this is the point again, and we've kind of touched on this, I think, the fact that you know these stamps haven't just been thrown in, like, oh, well, we're doing this lovely Academy of Colour, let's just throw in some random stamps. It's all been thought about, and the stamps that you see here the pens that you get within the box are what you're going to be seeing when you get the tutorials. When you get this box home and you scan that QR code and you get the 18 hours of tuition with Leanne, this is what she's going to be using. These are the pens she's going to be telling you to pick up. These are the stamps that she's going to be showing you uh, how to get the very best out of. And the great thing about this box, of course, as well, you are going to be practicing your watercolor. So we're giving you your watercolor cardstock, 12 sheets of your five by seven, and you're also going to be practicing working with your alcohol markers. So again, 12 sheets if you five by seven um, in the alcohol markers as well. You've got your um, uh, uh, piece for your binder as well, so you can pop your stamps onto there. If you've already got the um, binder from the original Academy of Colour, brilliant. If you haven't, you're just thinking of having this as your first, you can pop it into any folder uh, to keep your stamps on. And it's a great way as well, I think, actually, to kind of um, chart your journey, really, in the Academy of Colour. Um, and, you know, to see where you start, see where you start, see, see what you like after your first lesson uh, and see where you are, you know, three, four, five, six, seven hours down the line after you've been uh, working with the, uh, the digital Leanna, let's just say. And so many people um, I know have just seen their colouring go, you know, completely to the next level just from using this system. Now, as I said, this is a completely independent on its own box that you can pick up today and you can really get working with and uh, start improving your colouring. However, we've seen that a lot of people today have been getting this box and then going, oh, hang on a minute, there's, a, there's, another, there's another box you can get. The original Academy of Colour, uh, which was launched back, oh, I lose track of my days. Uh, March, I want to March. say 22nd. Oh, look at you, I knew I you'd know. <laughs> I knew you'd know. Um, the original Academy of Colour, um, which we're going to look at with Lily, is, uh, well, it, it, it's humongous, basically. You get so much as far as content is concerned. Um, you get so much uh, as far as being able to chart your journey is concerned, uh, because you get the, uh, the fold that you get um, so many stamps, so many pens. We'll let Lily unbox this and show you, but if you wanna go for this today, it's a 30% saving. It's a really, really great deal. Should be 148.64 or 197.25. It's 99 pounds, $119. Platinum members, 79.20 or $95.20. Basically, if you decide today to pick up both, uh, you're pretty much getting both for the price of what the Academy of Colour should have been mm -hmm. on its own. That's the way I would look at it. Um, but let's see what's in the box first of all. You'll be amazed. 124 uh, pieces in the original Academy of Colour. And the kind of idea again about this was helping you with that journey, like taking someone who's going, oh, I can't colour, I don't know how to colour, yeah. and going, well, actually, you can do it. Absolutely. I mean, this is the start of your journey and it's absolutely amazing. The amount you're getting in here is incredible. And I know you guys at home who already have the original box, I know it's going to be a no-brainer. I know you're going to be popping that portraits box in your basket. I just know you will because you'll know you'll need it because you will have seen the amazing education that Leanne gives you and you'll just want more. You want more and more and more. You want to learn even more. But the amount you get just in this, call it the original, the big main box is incredible. And you know I'm always super, super honest with you guys at home, probably a little bit too much sometimes. But when I first got this home, I said, you've given me two. <laughs> Why have you given me two? I didn't realise that you actually got the binder as yeah. well as the box. I was a little bit like, 
I've got sent to, but you actually get both, which is amazing. The binder is, of course, amazing quality, like everything you get in um, within this whole system, but something that's really, really exciting. It feels a little bit naughty. I almost feel like I can't show you this, but, <laughs> but I can, because <laughs> some of you guys will have this at home. Gives us a sneak peek of what's coming up which is really, really exciting. Yeah. So you know, if you're going to be getting all the, I say if, when you're going to be buying into the later boxes. So we've got the portraits already. You can see what's coming next. So you know that you're going to be learning all these as we go through that colouring journey. But this is actually where we store all our stamps. So within the original box, you will get two um, eight by eight stamp sheets which are absolutely perfect. I say two, it's actually three, yeah. which are brilliant for practicing all your techniques. So you get some lovely um, images, perfect for practicing all your shading of different shapes, but you get images that you can be using on your car projects as well. And these are the images that Leanne will be using in those classes that you get with the original box. Two different classes with the original box. You get a separate one on watercolor and a separate one on your alcohol-based pen. So lots and lots and lots of learning with this original box. It's incredible. Both of them are three hours each. Think how much you're going to learn on those. Absolutely. It's amazing, honestly. All that knowledge that Leanne is going to sort of pour on within those classes is going to be incredible for you. But we start off with this box, and something that I love is that your colouring journey starts here. Then as you get your later boxes, it's about continuing that colouring journey. But it doesn't matter whether you've never coloured before, perhaps you've never picked up an alcohol pen in your life or an aqua pen before, this is going to be a great place to start. Or perhaps you've been colouring for years like I have, but there's always something new to learn and this is what I love about these lessons. Again, we've got that sort of chocolate box type layout to it. We've got our fabulous quality velvet tray and you get your um, little card in here with your QR code. I first heard QR code and I panicked a bit and I thought, I'm not going to be able to access the videos. Yeah. I don't do QR codes. Don't worry, there's also a link on the back. So if you are anything like me, you can just go follow the link really easy. So don't worry, if you don't know what a QR code is, you'll be fine as well. You can still access those videos. So we've got all of our um, alcohol pens on this one layer. And again, they are exactly the same sort of thing as we had with our portrait box that we've already looked at. Same sort of numbering system. Again, jewel ended that lovely quality brush nib tapering down to a really fine point so we know we can get into all those details and we've got such intricate detail stamps and Leanne will be teaching you all the tips and techniques as to how to colour all those lovely beautiful detailed images. Our next layer is all about watercolouring so we have our dual ended um, duo colour aqua markers on this side a lovely variety of colours so something for colouring in lots of different sorts of images within the colour palette here. Mm. But really, really importantly, we're also giving you the brushes. So we've got that wide, flat brush for your washes, your backgrounds, that's going to be perfect. And you've got this really lovely, um, fine detail brush as well for all your intricate watercolouring. So we've got those included as well, so you're not even having to source a paintbrush separately. We're giving you a spritzer bottle, and this is something that's super, super exciting. What's it's our, that? Oh, it's our opaque white pen. Oh, okay. That's going to be great for all your highlights, but also for correcting mistakes if you ah. make any. So that's going to be absolutely brilliant. But it's not just for use for your aqua pens. That works with your alcohol markers as well. I just love the fact that it's so, so comprehensive. Mm. It's like we're including absolutely everything, all the accessories, all the pens, all the stamps. And of course, exactly the same with this one. We're giving you both the alcohol marker and the watercolour card. Something that has gone walkabouts from ours is we will be giving you a, I always want to say palette, a palette, a palette. A palette. <laughs> Go really off. posh when I say that. You'll get a palette uh, as well. Ours is so clear that it's actually disappeared. Um, but you, I promise you will get one of those included as well. And that's for all your blending. You can do some fabulous palette blending techniques using that. It's invaluable, so don't lose it, but yours will be included. But the amount you're getting in here, and that's before we're even thinking about the education, those videos that you'll be watching, you'll be using alongside your pens, using alongside your stamps to start, or perhaps just progress a colouring journey that maybe you've been on for years, and you just want to take it that little bit further. You want to learn all the whys as to why you're colouring mm. in a certain way. You want to be able to learn those techniques to apply to all the stamps that you've got. Maybe you're like me and have got hundreds or if not thousands of stamps and you want to know how to colour them to make them look really, really fabulous and realistic. This is going to be for you, but honestly, it's absolutely amazing. 
I'm so excited about it. I won't stop being excited about it. And it just gets better and better as we bring in the brand new boxes that you can add to your original. I know that if you've got your original, you'll be getting your portraits. But if you are thinking about getting your portraits today, I'd definitely be getting the original as well because they do work hand in hand and it's just more learning opportunities, which is amazing. Um, let's look at some more comments coming through. Uh, I have to say, this is for Holidays Designs, the Academy of Colour is fabulous. One of the best crafty investments I have ever made. Um, and, and this is the point, the amount of people um, who have said how you know this has kind of changed their life when it comes to colouring how they've kind of progressed so quickly with this is um, unbelievable I think that was the reason why it was put together it's kind of like a one-stop shop and if you've been scared I, I thought this last time if you've been scared in the past to maybe buy some of our tri blends for example some of our aqua pens you know any of those other ranges and you're thinking like there's so many of them. I don't, I don't know where to start. Do I start with the aqua blends? Do I start with the tri blends? Do I go classic? Do I go illustrators? Where do I start? If your head's like, you're getting ready to burst, this is where you start because you get a selection of these duo color um, pens in both uh, the alcohol and in both the watercolor. So you've got a selection of both and you can get practicing and you've got all of that tuition um, so that you're never alone. You know, you've, you're never stuck for ideas. You're never thinking, well, where do I go next? It's all been mapped out for you. It's like Lily, Lily was saying, it's lovely, isn't it? On the front of the box, like your coloring journey starts here. Literally does start right here with this box. You've got everything that you need. You can chart it all in the folder that you're gonna receive too, which by the way is absolutely uh, gorgeous top-notch quality you've got all of the stamps in there let's just think about that for a second 16 alcohol markers 32 colors eight duo uh, aqua markers 16 colors you've got your white marker your spritzer two paint brushes your blending palette what? your uh, um, marker card for your alcohol coloring 18 sheets of your watercolor card 40 clear stamps your binder your project pockets your project dividers your three stamp storage panels as well and all of that exclusive access to uh, Liam teaching you everything that she knows and you just literally cannot put a price on that to have her there whenever you want to uh, have a lesson have a bit of time with her you simply uh, just press play and away you go honestly if budget stretches today if you can go for this 79 pounds 20 is your um, price if you're shopping in the UK and your platinum 95 dollars 20 in the US get this Add that as well, and you are well on the way to becoming the colorist that you want to be. Uh, and then you can get excited about the next uh, box, which will come the flora and fauna, uh, and all of the other bits and pieces, the pencils, which are going to come later down the line as well. It's something to look forward to. And it's a great way, I think, particularly to have that binder as well, to chart your journey, to see mm -hmm. where you started and see where you are, uh, you know, in a few months' time. And I can, I can't guarantee, but I'd, I'd like to think I can pretty much guarantee uh, that you are going to see such an improvement if you follow these classes and take advantage um, of this deal today. It's a 30% saving on the original Academy of Colour. Are we going to have a look at a, a few um, techniques with you yeah. from, from these collections just to kind of see the sort of things that we can do? Absolutely. So I'm going to be actually using some of the stamps that you're getting within your portraits box, but I'm going to be using the pens that you're getting in your original and your portraits just to show you that basically you need everything. Yeah. But it's all about learning the techniques. You'll learn on the original box. You'll be progressing even further as you go through the portraits box. But I won't be showing you exactly what Leanne's going to teach you. It's sort of my take on the education so I've learned from Leanne I've watched all the videos and this is me passing on a little bit of my knowledge to you guys at home just to show you something a little bit different but we're working with this lovely stamp from the portraits box I loved colouring this image I absolutely love colouring this plait in the hair it's so much fun to colour we're going to go for a slightly alternative colour weight of hair just to show you how the techniques are exactly the same so Leanne will teach you the techniques once you've learned the techniques choose your own colours and apply them those techniques in your own colourways, perhaps personalising to your recipient um, to whatever colourway maybe their hair is or whatever colourway is their favourite colours, you can absolutely personalise those. So what we're doing is we're starting off with CT4 and that's from your original box and you'll be looking at this to start with and thinking, blime, that's quite a bright colour, but we're going to mute it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. But we're going to start just in a small section of some, about the top half um, of her hair. And what we're doing is we're flicking downwards from the edges into this centre section and what we're going to do is we're going to preserve our highlight. That probably sounds a little bit technical and you think, what's that preserving our highlight? What's that all about? Basically it just means we're not colouring it all in. We're leaving a little space in the middle where that highlight, where that shine on the hair is going to be and that's what gives us a really realistic finish to our colouring 
So preserving our highlights, just leaving that area in the middle. We're not sort of like a, an abrupt stop line. We're gonna flick upwards. So we're just gonna have small areas of that center where it's actually blank and we've got no color. We sometimes come in and fill that in at the end, but for now, we're gonna be um, preserving that highlight. So that's our CT4. And then we're gonna go in with the same sort of system with our CR6. So again, this is from our original box and this is gonna look really unusual to start with, but we don't worry, we can always keep on reworking our coloring until we get a result that we're happy with. I always say it's always salvageable. There's always um, a way that we can make things work. But sometimes when we're coloring, we start off and it looks a little bit, a little bit ropey, let's be honest. Um, but it's all about working into that image and just building up those layers. It's very much about layers when we come to do our colouring. Never looks finished until it is finished. I always say if it, if it doesn't look finished, then it's not. Mm. <laughs> keep going until you're happy. It's exactly the same as when we're making a card. If you're not happy, then just keep going. Perhaps walk away, take a step away um, for a little while. Maybe go and have a cup of tea and then come back and have a look at it with a pair of fresh eyes. Uh, and make any sort of adjustments as you see fit. But we've started to flick. We don't want to cover up all of that yellow that we've laid down. We want to leave some of that yellow exposed. And then we're going to go back in with our yellow. We're just going to soften the edges just by flicking downwards. So we're slightly overlapping where that CR6 was. And then we're just going into that area of yellow, still preserving our highlight all the time, just to keep um, that area of white sort of clean in the very, very center. When you're happy that you've blended that through a little bit more, it's looking a little bit more blended. We're going to move up to our CR8, which is a little bit darker than the um, colour we put down before. And then we're going to move up ever so slightly. So we're going to be flicking down, but we're not going to cover all of the area um, that we've already filled in with our lightest tone. We still want some of that CR6 showing. So we're only adding this to the very, very sort of edges of her hair. And we're going for a lovely sort of flame flame coloured hair so perhaps not a, a exactly natural colour but it's yeah. great to be able to colour hair in lots of different colours both natural and um, more sort of unusual hair tones. Have you um, always coloured did you say? Have you always been a colourist? Yeah I've always loved colouring. Um, I used to do a lot of painting so I painted with uh, acrylics and oils and watercolours and all sorts of stuff like that and but yeah. How long have it. you been colouring the Spectrum Noir? Do you know what this year it was 10 years. 10 years, yeah, because it was my uh, 13th birthday. I got a big set of um, the Classiques, which is why Classiques will always be sort of my favourite. Yeah. yeah, I started off with the Classiques. I think I got this when it was just 72 pence, I got the 72 pence set. Yeah. And I wish, I really do wish, I still had the first image I coloured. I don't have it anymore. Oh, That's why do you it's remember always, what it was? Yes, I can see the stamped image now. It's a little hedgehog in oh. a pair of wellies. In a pair of wellies? Well, a pair of wellies, yeah. And I coloured his uh, wellies purple. Yeah. So purple was my favourite colour at the time. Um, <laughs> still is, of course, team yes. purple and all the rest. But uh, yeah, I wish I still had that stamped image. So I always say, when you start your colouring journey, please, please, please save your first images that you colour because you will want to see them in a few years down the line. And like I say, I wish that I still had mine. But, but yeah. you wish as well that there'd been a system like this 10 oh, years gosh. ago as well. I, I imagine that image was absolutely shocking. If I look at it now, I'd be like, blimey. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, as soon as I started, I just loved it and never looked back since. Alcohol pens are definitely my favourite. Yeah. Um, but now we're going to go back in with our very darkest and we're going to go in with EB4. And in the absence of my palette, I've just got a piece of acetate here. Definitely use your palette at, at home. It's a lot easier with that. But all we're doing is we're scribbling down our EB4 and this is from our portraits box. And then we're going to get our colour we've just been colouring with, our CR8. And all we're going to do is just going to scoop up a little bit of that colour onto the end of there. Just check onto your scrap paper. You can see that's a little bit darker, so we've picked up some of that colour. Swipe as much as you like. I would um, start off with just a little bit, and then you can always go in and add some more. It's always easier to add than it is to take away. So I'm going to add a little bit more, so I'm just going to scoop up a little bit more onto, I was going to say brush, it is a brush nib, um, onto our pen. And then we're adding that into the very, very edges of our, um, our hair, just because if we went straight down with our pen, so if we took our EB4 and went straight onto our image, it might be a little bit too dark and it might not be as blended perhaps as we want it to, um, to look. So if we add our darker colour onto the palette and pick it up 
onto our lightest colour, always pick up your dark onto your light. It gives you sort of a mix between the two, a little bit like when you're painting, you're picking up colours um, from your painting palette. It's a little bit like that, it just gives us more of a muted, um, not, not muted so much, but slightly more diluted um, version of that pen, so it's not going to be quite as strong. It's this technique that allows us to work with um, colour combinations that perhaps wouldn't naturally um, blend as nicely but it just allows them to blend a little bit easier. Another way to do that would be tip to tip transferring. So what we'd do is we take our lightest and our darker colour. Oh yeah. And all we'd do is we'd transfer some of the darker colour, just fuse those two nibs together, transfer your darker onto your lighter. Obviously, however long you leave your um, pens transferring, you'll get more colour. But can you see when I'm scribbling out now with my red, it's now brown, but as we colour out, we flush out that colour so you don't need to worry about contaminating ah. your nibs. It goes back to its original colour. I've never seen that tip Have before. you not? No, I haven't. I love that technique. It's That's brilliant great. if you're doing like mermaids or fairies wings. Yeah. Um, but it allows you, you can choose two really, really different colours that you'd look at and think, well, they're not going to blend together. They're completely different colour families and it allows you to blend them together. But if we go back to our hair, look how fabulous does that look. A slightly mm. unusual colourway, but it looks absolutely fantastic. And if I bring in... Uh, and you can actually find these all on that Facebook group that I've been talking about. Leanne actually uploads all these boards, so she gives you the step-by-step -step of building up the colours, but she also tells you exactly what you need to do and the colours that she's used to do it, which is incredible. So we started off with that yellow, then we added in our reds and we built up with the browns. And you can see I've gone slightly more yellow with mine, I've not mm. added in as much as the other colours. It's completely up to you, the techniques that you want to, uh, to do yourself. But again, that's just my take on Leanne's technique learning what she's taught me and applying it to my image to get a slightly sort of more yellow, slightly different hair tone. But it's just what I've learned in those classes. But how incredible is that? So easy to build up once you know how. It's just learning that technique and applying it to all the stamps that you've already got. So much fun to create. Really great. And do you know what? More um, comments just coming through on this. Um, Gwenda was just saying, we did the red hair in the class. Yes. I thought, no way uh, is this going to look right. But it did, and it was great. Mm -hmm. Um, Sharon Horn says, I have to admit, I was terrified of watercolouring until I went through the Academy of Colour classes so far with Leanne. Now I'm loving it. These are the kind of the stories that we hear every single day when it comes to the Academy of Colour. Um, Diane Lerigo says, I love my Academy of Colour kit. Leanne is a fab teacher. I always go back and re-watch the videos to practice. And that's the point. That's the idea about this is that you can go back, you can re-watch. Just keep doing it. Keep re repeating um, until you get to that point where you think, OK, I've mastered this bit now and move on to the next bit. Take that next step in the journey uh, and Jean just says um, I'm away at the moment watching on my phone but I just love 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 uh, my Academy of Colour thank you for all these testimonials do keep these coming through um, we are uh, very very excited to hear how excited you guys are um, at uh, this uh, brand new collection and indeed just the Academy of Colour as a whole uh, and do feel free to ask any questions if you want to ask questions you can we're looking good so far I think um, everybody just saying how much they love their Academy of Colour how uh, far along their journey that they're going as well um, the platinum price on the original academy of color is brilliant it's a 30 percent saving so it's 79 pounds 20 95 dollars 20 don't forget you are going to get your um you're going to get your uh, uh folder with this you're also going to get the um well all the contents 124 elements within the original collection bolt that onto your brand new portrait set as well uh, just makes for a fantastic perfect pairing however you can go for uh, either or individually um, if you want to go that way 79.20 $95.20 for the original Academy of Colour uh, and add in your uh, your portraits as well if you can and then you're well on the way uh, to that next step along your colouring journey um, as well as all of that today of course we do have the launch of our um, paper pads too the uh, winter's tail and the winter solstice have been proving very very popular indeed uh, the winter's uh, tail 12 by 12 uh, it is uh, 36 sheets in total 
um, that you're going to receive uh, double sided um, and just love 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 the color palette here got to, um, I, I said it last time like when at Christmas time um, where we used to be back in Bucks they used to open up these sort of tithe barns that would have all of these like really cute sort of um, Christmas knickknacks and ornaments and a lot of these papers remind me of that sort of harping back to Christmas of yesteryear but as you, when, when you get these home I think it's sometimes hard to see um, via the camera you'll see all the different layers of detail within each and every page there's so much intricacy lots of snippability within these as well um, and the reverse sides as Lily was saying a little bit earlier on um, lend themselves um, perfectly not only to marry up but also to use as you know as um, beautiful mats and layers a lot of these as well you'll use across various Christmas collections and there's plenty of snippability too so if you like to kind of um, go for uh, smaller cards you can snip into these this one here uh, particularly will go very nicely with i think it was one of the papers from the vintage snowman collection isn't it yeah. with the lanterns yeah but that's I'm actually using that one in my next demo oh, are you? i love that paper yeah it's fabulous it's so nice though isn't it that you've got again standalone um, paper pads but then when you sort of go well actually i could marry that up with a bit of vintage snowman i could marry that up with a bit of frosty and bright mm -hmm. that, that's obviously no accident is it absolutely not i mean they're so cleverly designed liana and her team in product development are quite frankly they're creative geniuses everything they bring out works together so so well they're looking back to what we've already brought out and they've also got one eye on the future so they know what's coming out they know this is going to work at what with what we're going to be bringing you over the next few months months and years but the fact that we've got two completely standalone paper pads i think is really really exciting because they're just going to add to your stash and make what you've already got go that little bit further but they are absolutely stunning and i love the fact that you get one side is very much there's a lot of design in there it can take center stage on all your projects and then the reverse complements that design but it's slightly more muted in design so you've got um, so, sort of less of a focal point on there so great for all your backgrounds when you want a little bit of design on there but you don't want it to overtake from your focal point they're going to be perfect for that uh, that is your winter's tale uh... I won't do the joke again. David S. Oh, well, okay. David Essex is favourite. Eleven pounds ninety nine or fifteen ninety six. That means nothing to you, probably, does it? No. <laughs> Christmas song. David Essex. Winter's Tale. No. No. Uh, no. Um, maybe oh. laugh earlier. And then I, you've got. I'll the, have to Google it later. It's a good song. I'm not. No, I'm not going to sing it again. Now I get embarrassed. No, I don't wanna, I'm not going to sing. No, I'm not I, a performing I, seal, Charlotte. I'm not a performing seal. I sang it. I sang it six times earlier. Go back and watch uh, Masterclass. Uh, the winter solstice uh, is also beautiful. Colours, um, I love. Uh, the artwork, I love also because. Um, it, am I saying this right? It has got a bit of like a Scandi feel to oh, this, doesn't it? Scandi art. Yeah, definitely. It's very say popular so. right now. Yes, always. It's fabulous. But look at those designs. I think this is going to be great for the younger um, people in our lives as well. Great for teenagers, I think. Mail cars as well. She's got such a funky feel um, to that. But I think as well, not just for Christmas, just for winter in general. And I love the fact that we've done that with these two paper pads. We've called them winter paper pads. They're not just for Christmas. A bit of a cliche there, but they are definitely not just for Christmas. And like Ben was saying earlier, particularly on the reverse designs, yeah. they're going to be great all year round. Great absolutely for backgrounds, right. great for building up scenes. Going to be absolutely amazing, but lots of sniffability in those as well. Super cute as well. I love these ornaments. So sweet, um, aren't they? You've got your block colours on the back of some of these as well. So perfect for mats and layers. It's a lot of fun. And um, as we said, matches up with a lot of the collections that you'll have seen mm -hmm. this year. Um, you'll be able to use this with a lot of the collections which we launched last year. Uh, you know, and if, he says if when more Christmas collections <laughs> come your way you'll be matching these up with those oh. as well and they're not um, paper pads which you're only going to use this year and then they'll be out of fashion come next year these have got a lot of craftability so that's why you definitely need to be stocking up buy more than you need um, and uh, just enjoy crafting with them because they are beautiful beautiful uh, paper pads £11.99 or $15.96 is your platinum price on those. Keep the comments coming through. Um, we have got, what, 40 minutes to go. Lots to get through in the final 40. Uh, Elaine is saying, I'm so happy that I bought the uh, Academy of Colour. Uh, my colouring skills have improved immensely. Love to read this. Uh, and I love Leanne's teachings. Do keep the comments coming through on that. Uh, and Fran joining us saying hi from Florida. Uh, something which we launched last week. It must 
week, this is my first week, uh, first day back in this week, is the uh, Christmas Intricate Doily Die Collection uh, with uh, six elements in total. 20% savings, so the same price that we gave to you at launch, £30.39 or $38 is the deal uh, right here. Um, and again, these are really, really gorgeous. So much detail jam-packed into each and every one of these um, dies. And again, when we launched these and chatted about these, um, Debbie and I, there's lots of snippability within these, isn't there? And, and mm. whilst they obviously are focused on Christmas, there's plenty of snippability and manipulation that you can do to kind of change these and use these all year round. Absolutely. I mean, they're all about looking into them a little bit closer. And mm. I'm looking at that one now and I'm seeing flowers. So yeah. absolutely every day. So the main design, if you use it um, as a full design, it probably is more orientated towards Christmas or just winter in general. But if you look into them a little bit closer, start to snip into them, then you can absolutely be using them all year round. Just think of them as a pretty doily. I mean, the centre of that is definitely a flower. Yeah. I'm thinking if you cut two of those, you could get away with the whole design as a flower, for sure. Absolutely. Um, so lots of craftability and versatility with this collection. They just think lovely. We, so, we sort of label these up for you, so you kind of get mm -hmm. an idea as to what you know we think you should be using them for. But as you'll see, again, that frosted star, there's so much in there as far as snippability mm -hmm. is concerned. There's one kind of, just a minute, it's this one here, which is my favourite. Uh, this, is, this one's called your opulent snowflake. And as a whole, that's amazing. And initially, when I saw this, I thought, oh, it's sort of a little bit nautical. That looks mm -hmm. a bit like a compass. Then looked again, and you see the little bells that you've got. Yes, I saw, I saw, I saw the bells, yeah. And then looked again, you've got this gorgeous, um, sort of uh, circular uh, die in there as well. So there's almost like loads of different layers, but the bells are super cute on that yeah, one. Yeah, I feel you could almost use that a little bit steampunk if you wanted to. Yeah, that's Definitely. a great shout. Yeah, I'm seeing a compass, I'm seeing steampunk. Just about however you use it, it's about whatever you cut them out of, the colours that you use, add some inks, maybe even heat emboss with some um, yeah. like ultra thick embossing enamel. Use them as stencils as well, spritz through them, get out a bit of cosmic shimmer, mm. they look amazing for background. So don't just think about using them as a die cut, thinking about using your dies to create tools, so to create stencils and create masks to build up your own backgrounds. That's your elegant snowflake there. I mean, again, I'm seeing um, uh, little hearts there. I'm seeing like a rosette in the middle if you want to snip. I don't uh, know what I'm seeing with that. I'm seeing two penguins facing each other. <laughs> you know, the two like... Oh, yes, at the top. <laughs> I'm seeing two penguins. Yeah. yeah, that is brilliant. Where is oh, it there? Dear. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. That might just be me, but uh, yeah, I can see penguins. I feel like we're doing one of those tests now. Look <laughs> oh, at this gosh, and tell yeah. me what you see. And it tells oh, you something about dear. your personality. It could be quite worrying. <laughs> um, and then lastly, this set is the uh, beautiful regal snowflake. I mean, again, tons and tons of snippability right there. Um, you know, hats off, chapeau to our team for what they've created with this uh, particular collection. Uh, it's a 20% saving, £30.39 or $38. And we're going to have a look at these in action, yeah? Absolutely. We're going to just show what exactly what we've been talking about, which is the snippability within these dies. So I've taken the Frosted Star. I have to say it was another of those. I say it time and time again. I struggle to know which one to work with first. They're all fabulous, but they're all that little bit different. They all offer a little bit different design. There's a little bit of a quirk with each of them that sets them all apart. So it's one of those you definitely want all of them. But for this particular card, we're going to be using the Frosted Star. And I was actually, I was quite surprised by how big these were. I was expecting them to be a little bit smaller given the size of the packaging and the price. So you get quite a, quite a nice size yeah. down there. Plenty of metal, but lots of detail as well. Some of my favourite card stock, I say it time and time again, is of course the um, Centura Pearl Fresh Wine. It's a lovely double-sided um, cardstock that we've got with this. Um, and I think it just looks beautiful for all your Christmas makes. If you've got anything like uh, snowflakes, you've got that sort of icy theme, then it works, an absolute treat. And all I'm doing is I'm just going to run this through my Gemini machine. Um, of course, they will fit through your Gemini Junior with them being slightly smaller in size. <laughs> So great as well. Oh, what, what's Ben spied? He spied something. No, Susie's just said on the opulent snowflake, uh, it looks like an owl's face in between the bells. Yeah, I can see yeah. it. Yeah, see the top there? I can see a unicorn, a unicorn. A yeah, horn, unicorn horn. And then there's like the two eyes. Oh, yeah. If you flip it, oh, it doesn't matter, Ben, because it's that way around as well. But if you look at the bottom, that could be like, it looks like a little, I don't know, like a raccoon or something i don't know anyway keep keep going with what you can see in the dies we're, we're, we're making notes on everything that you see and writing it down we're finding out lots about your personalities we're, we're analyzing what's that you see i think you see an owl's face in between the bells oh dear blimey get them to a doctor <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> too much crafting. <laughs> oh dear. Funny, funny. But it's fun. I love dies like this when there's so much detail in there. You start to sort of see um, other things. I think that's really, really fun. But just Absolutely. start to look into them and start to think how you can snip into these. So I'm old. I'm seeing faces. Oh dear. I'm seeing faces in this one. <laughs> but I'm looking into the centre of that. And I'm thinking of snipping those out of circles. I'm thinking we've got a. Um, a flower in the centre, how about snipping out there, we could use that as a corner, cutting several, snipping into it, using it as borders, lots and lots of options, don't just think of it as one full solid piece, think how you can snip into it. And that's exactly what we're going to do here, so I've taken two, die cut two exactly the same, and I'm just going to take a pair of scissors, and all I'm going to do is I'm just, just going to follow point to point, and I'm literally just going to chop this straight in half. So I'm not having to think about it too much, I'm just chopping it in half. And you could use a guillotine for this if you find that easier, but I'm just going with a pair of scissors. To be fair, a nine inch pair of scissors would probably be a little bit better than these six inch pair, but they'll do the job just nicely. Now you can see we've actually started to, um, to sort of break this down a little bit. So if I bring in a piece of cardstock, you can see you could be building this. Perhaps you want um, some other sides like so, you might want to pop another one onto there and you're starting to build up your own backgrounds just by snipping into it and how different does that look to when we had the full one at the beginning but i'm going off on a little bit of a tangent that's just another way you can use them <laughs> but let's go back to the original card so of course we're using some of those amazing papers that one that me and ben were just yeah. talking about with those lanterns and i'm thinking wouldn't it be lovely on those lanterns to get out some of your um either your clear sparkle pen or your glossy highlights and just sort of really bring out that detail even more, make it look a little bit more realistic. That's something I think I almost forget sometimes with the, when you've got such a lovely patterned paper. I'll sometimes add inks, but don't forget, you can always further enhance those designs with other effects like your sparkle pens, your glitter markers, um, any of your, your glossy highlights, anything like that, metallic markers, to really bring out that detail, you can absolutely be doing that. So think of working with your papers even more, adding more to them, they're gonna look even more amazing. We've taken a slightly smaller strip um, from a complementary paper, that's one of the ones on the reverse. And again, we've matted and layered it into some of that same silver that we used for that piece there. And then we're gonna bring in our card base. So it's that same fresh white Centura Pearl, and it's about six and a quarter by seven and a quarter and then this top section we've sort of cut away so that section is now only two inches rather than being the whole card front because we're going to do an acetate front card a little bit of a floating effect which i think always looks fabulous on your card a little bit of sort of an optical illusion if you like so we're going to take our piece that we've just matted and layered from our paper pad matted and layered onto our silver got to have a bit of glitter bit of um, silver glitter on there, fabulous for Christmas. We're going to add that into the center of there. And then we'll take this piece um, that we're going to add onto that top section and a little bit of tape run onto the back just for speed. Your all purpose glue will work amazingly for this as well. That's a great glue for all your mats and layers um, for your flat matting and layering. If we add that onto the top little bit there, try and get it straight, even at this time, oh, it's late, half seven light <laughs> try and get it nice and straight if we can then what we've done is we've taken a piece of acetate and that's the same width as our card base and that's just going to go on the inside there but before we stick that down we're just going to lay it into position so we're going to line it up and then we're going to bring back in our snowflakes because what we're going to do is going to add our snowflakes to this area but we just want to tuck them behind this folded piece and then we're going to stick the folded piece over the top just to give us a little bit of a neater finish. So we'll hide the join where that joins to our card blank rather than sticking this down first and then having to try and line this up absolutely perfectly. It's easier if we stick our snowflake down first and then just sort of sandwich our card base over the top. So I think we're only going to need the two for this. Let's just have a look. We might need to snip them down a little bit more and um, just have a little play around with how we want to do this. We might want to overlap them a little bit like so but like I always say just have a little play around until you're happy with your design I think I'm happy with that and um, like it is so all I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I leave my acetate in place and then I'm going to take a piece of scrap paper and then using our dotty tape runner just with these being so intricate you're going to struggle um, with a fine tip glue applicator and tacky glue just because basically it doesn't like acetate um, 
So tacky glue is not the best thing for sticking onto your acetate. Something like your tape runner is a lot better and using your dotty one is going to make sure that we get all that detail uh, within the die. We did have a nice little bundle actually on this afternoon's masterclass with some of the low tack tape and dotty tape runners so definitely check that one out if you're needing to stock up on any of those essential tapes. So lining our acetate up, we've not stuck anything down but just make sure that's in position. Then what we're going to need to do just half fold your card base until you know that that's going to be about lined up under there. Then when you're happy with that, just open it back out, line that up so it's nice and straight like so. And then just press that down, exactly the same with the other one. We're going to line that up so it's about straight and even, but we're not having to worry about that top being too neat because using this technique, that's going to be um, sort of shut in our card base like so. When we're happy with that, what we're going to do is we're going to stick our acetate into our card. So some tape runner, lead, red liner tape even would work a treat for this uh, with it being acetate, but just for speed using our tape runner to add that onto there. Then just close our card base to shut it and then that gives us our floating effect. Beautiful. To finish it off, we're gonna need a little bit of detail down the bottom. So we're gonna add in a sentiment. I mean, you could be layering up your snowflakes even more if you wanted to do like mm. a, a much um, more full effect. You could add another one into the center, but I think I think I'm going to leave it as two so we can yeah. see more of the design because I want to see that lovely design in the background. To finish it off, I've taken a sentiment I actually found out earlier. If you go on the website under the Christmas clearance section, this set is actually under that clearance section. Oh, which okay. Is quite exciting. It's called Festive Sentiments. And I think it's only about a fiver. And it's like, wow, I was like, whoa, I didn't, didn't realise that was in there. So I got quite excited. Even though I've already got it, I thought, shall I get another? Because <laughs> it's one of those sets that I use time and time again, actually. You get some lovely festive sentiments in there. I've gone for snowflake kisses just to tie in um, with the snowflakes. And I think I'm going to add it onto the bottom left-hand side just so we can see our lovely little houses on there. And it's stamped onto that same Centura Pearl Fresh White, adding it onto another of those mats and layers using our glitter card and that gives us a lovely floating effect card, a little bit of acetate using our papers and our doily dies but how fab, but how quick and easy to create, just snipping into your doilies gives it a totally different effect. Phenomenal, um, it makes me laugh the amount of people uh, saying what they see in these doily dies, we'll mm -hmm. go through them again for you. By the way if you need red liner tape we've got some in our Explorer kit deal Ooh, which you've got on yes. the show haven't we with the, um, with the scoreboard and your vintage butterflies 12 by 12 uh, you get three rolls of your red liner tape for free within that deal. Um, Terry says I can't wait to get mine, I can see many uses for these. Marino says I see the owls. Uh, Alison says the frosted star snowflake would make a lovely star of David for Hanukkah a you silver blue or white speciality card love that idea um, Lillian Kwok says with the owl that's the one that I said looks like an angry owl you're all seeing owls <laughs> uh, Roseanne says looks like an owl wearing a party hat it does look like an owl wearing a party hat. That's the... Uh, That's because that, it's a launch party. Exactly. There you go. It's a launch party owl. Yes. A launch, there you go. Um, <laughs> yes, he, he's having a hoot. Uh, I think that paper's so pretty. You only need a sentiment says for holidays designs. Um, and lots of you loving these two. So you've got uh, this one here, Opulent Snowflake, which we will rename Owl in a Party Hat with Bells on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh dear, you can't oh. unsee it now. <laughs> then uh, you've got this one here, which is your mandala. Uh, again, so much superability, loads of beautiful detail in there for you too. You've got the stunning lace edge star in there, definitely a floral within the center of that one if you're snipping in. Um, I love the idea as well as, you know, you were showing like cutting into these and like creating your own background mm. with them too, if you wanted. There's lots of craftability. The frosted star, who's it was saying about the frosted star? Uh, oh yes, we'd make a lovely Star of David for, um, for Hanukkah, absolutely. Then you've got the elegant snowflakes. Uh, there's hearts in there, isn't there? There's that it's almost a kissing, sort of kiss, kissing penguins one, that one. Kissing penguins kissing in penguins. there, of course, as well. And the little rosette that you've got within the centre, which I love. And then you've got the regal snowflake. Um, so again, lots to choose from, lots of snippability. Uh, lots of you saying how much you love that collection too. Um, Fred171 says, I often buy duplicate stamp sets and cut them apart to use them in other ways. Uh, mm. And Fred also saying, whoo, sees an owl. <laughs> that was an owl joke there for you. 
Uh, £30.39 or $38 is the deal on this collection. Uh, right, we're going to have a short little break. Uh, when we come back, we've got all of the demos of the, the votes of the demos to do, of mm -hmm. course, haven't we? Demos of the shows. The demos day, of the day. Of the year, of the century. Not quite, not yet. Just, just of the day, of the show. Uh, and we'll recap on some of your favourite products as well. If you've got items in your basket right now, <laughs> Lillian says that's a pigeon. It is actually. Well, it's probably a wood pigeon. I'll work on my owl impression whilst you guys go and check out your baskets. Uh, take heed as well. Take heed. Take notice of this uh, little break too because there's some exciting news coming your way uh, in the form of uh, Sarah. Um, it's worth watching as well because she's in a hard hat. Have a look at this. <laughs> look where I am. This is our amazing brand new warehouse. This is the one you always hear us talk about, our global fulfillment centre, just down the road from our offices. Anyway, it's gorgeous, it's brand spanking new, but already it is literally crammed full to the rafters with stuff. Amazing stuff, but stuff that we need to clear out and make some space for. So the good news is, all of next week, I am taking over the whole channel. Crafters TV is having a full-on Sarah-style takeover for Sarah's Craft Clearout. Now, I'm going to be starting in Monday on the Monday Maker slot. Actually, for those of you that are early, I'll also pinch the wake-up call. I'll do a preview in wake-up call. But we've got deals going on all week. Brand new drops every single day. Amazing shows planned throughout of the week. You do not want to miss it. Keep an eye out for an email. Keep an eye out on our socials for more information. And I'll see you bright and early for wake-up call on Monday morning. Quick buy. All your crafty must-haves in a flash. Put away your tape measure and fabric scissors. The Threaders Fabric Cutter offers accuracy and precision with every cut. This handy tool slices through fabric in a guillotine style. Its ergonomic design features a comfortable and protective handle, so it's safe and easy to use whether you're right or left-handed. Its 45 millimeter rotary blade will cut up to six layers of fabric at a time, so your sewing, quilting, and upholstery project times are cut down to size. It's equipped with a measuring guide in metric and imperial for a perfectly accurate cut every time. The built-in grid ruler has 30 degree, 45 degree, and 60 degree angle lines, so you can cut fabric on any angle, including the bias. Quick buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Thank you for all the lovely comments uh, coming through. I'm just really enjoying reading the things that you guys are seeing in those dies. Uh, the edges of the last snowflake, says Roseanne, uh, you showed, looked like little candelabras. They do look like <laughs> little candelabras. So much fun. Uh, something which proved popular when we launched them. Um, I think this was this time last week. Launch party last week, I think, for the, yeah. Um, the uh, die cut topper pads. So uh, these again are brilliant for quick, easy makes. And actually, if you're quite new to crafting and you just decide this year that you want to uh, make your very first Christmas cards, maybe the kids want to get crafting as well. These are absolutely perfect. You've got two uh, different styles, let's just say. You've got your Christmas cheer and then your winter joy as well. So uh, three different design uh, designs within each pad. Five sheets of each, so it's 15 sheets in total, 280 uh, toppers overall. So you can be quite frugal with these and just add kind of single elements to uh, particular cards and projects, or indeed, uh, you can um, decoupage these all up. I kind of think there's roughly about four full decoupages per sheet. This one's the Christmas cheer, so it's a little bit more cutesy as this. You've got snowmen and teddy bears. Um, you've got uh, your snowman there with his lantern, and then you've got the cute little Christmas scene in there as well with more teddy bears and presents and then you've got the uh, beautiful Christmas tree present stockings um, and all the little other bits and pieces that you can use to decoupage those up as I said it's entirely up to you whether you want to go decoupage uh, or whether you just want to use individual elements 
however many you use at a time um, will def uh, de define how long the pad lasts for, I suppose. Uh, and then you're also going to get your Winter Joy as well, which is a little bit more of a mm, traditional Christmas, if you like, really. Uh, the three different uh, design sheets you're going to get. So you've got that gorgeous uh, candle and the lantern there. You've got your Christmas bells. You've got poinsettia flowers in there too. Uh, you've got, again, more beautiful candles. Love that little robin um, in the poinsettia flower. And then the last design sheet you've got in here, again, is more about building up sort of um, beautiful poinsettia wreaths and your, um, your cones in there with the jingle bells on. Um, a really nice way, as I say, to get into uh, making your own Christmas cards for very little expense, £12.78, $16.60. I mean, really, if you'd never crafted before or you would need a bit of adhesive, some card, card blanks, yeah. and then you're making Christmas cards quite inexpensively, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely. They're great as well if crafting with the kids, crafting yeah. on a budget, quick crafting. They still make amazing cars and projects. Fabulous. I crafting with the budget, did you just say? Crafting on a budget. Oh. Or you could also craft with a budget if you like. They're that easy. Even your budget can do them. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I thought, what? Crafty with your budgie? I mean, why not? You know? Why not? <laughs> should we, uh, so We've had owls, now it's budgies. <laughs> should, we, um, should we see how easy these are to craft with? Yes, even yes. if you're crafting with a budgie, you can still do them. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to crafting mm. with Lily rather than a budgie. <laughs> so, of course. I like we'll... seeing you craft, but I would pay good money to see a budgie craft. Yeah, I, I would too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So of course we're bringing in some of that amazing paper from our new 12 by 12 collection and this is from the winter solstice and we've got this lovely um, very much Scandinavian design on one side and then we've got more of a everyday if you like um, sort of polka dot design on the other side and all we've done is we've cut this down to ten and a half by ten and a half inches I'm going to actually create a bonbon box so I brought in my big scoreboard and all we're going to do is we're going to score at three and a half inches on all four sides so if we line that up with the left hand side, go in at three and a half inches, score down. And I always say it's better to score multiple times over the same area rather than trying to score once quite heavily um, with one score line. It just gives you a better finish, a better result, just by building up that score line and um, by scoring over the same area multiple times. So 3.5 inches on each side, each of the four sides of this piece of cardstock. And this is actually, um, when I got my first got my Ultimate Pro, we're talking quite a few years ago now, it was probably one of the first um, Crafters Companion products that I ever got. Um, very excited about it. I've still got the exact same Ultimate Pro all Have these you years really? later. Yeah, still got it, still pride of place in my craft room. Um, but I remember going on the website and there was, um, and it's still there, there's a download you can download to do with the Ultimate Pro to create a bonbon box. It was one of my first ever proper projects with my Ultimate Pro and that's exactly what we're going to create now. So just goes to show Ultimate Pro, obviously it's not a brand new project. We've had a uh, product even, we've had it for several years. It doesn't date. Um, the projects you can create on there are as current now as they were 10 plus years ago, it must be now. Um, but it's just mixing up different papers. So we've got brand new papers that we're using alongside projects that we might have done a long time ago. But it's just breathing new life into these different sorts of folds that we can do. So all we're doing now is we're reinforcing those score lines that we've just popped in. So the four at 3.5 inches. And this is just going to help us uh, when we come to do our next stage of our project. So using our scoring tool to reinforce those. Then all we do is we, what we're going to do is we're going to take... Um, our piece of card and we're just going to score on the diagonal. So we're going to score from the corner into where the score lines meet. So start in the corner and then this is why we fold burnish those score lines because we can see where they meet a little bit easier. We're going to score from that corner down into where the score lines meet and we're going to do that in all four um, corners to our box. So nice and simple, just score down from that corner to where those lines meet and we do that in all four corners just like so. So one into there and then finally all we do is our final one onto there like so. Nice and easy to do. And then all we do is we start to fold it up. So I'm just going to bring in one that I've done earlier. The only difference is we've just popped a hole using a single hole punch about a centimetre in crossing that diagonal score line, one in every single corner. We move our scoreboard out of the way. I'm going to start folding this up. 
So all you do on your diagonal, fold that one way and then your two score lines either side go the other way. So your um, diagonal is a mountain and then your non-diagonals are a valley and this will just start to take shape. So fold inwards just like so yep. and then that all starts to come together. And all you need to do is you need to take some twine or ribbon or thread or whatever um, you desire and then just thread that through and this is what's going to be um, holding our um, bag together. So if we thread that through the holes, sort of lacing it in one and then out the other and then when we pull this all together our bonbon box will um, be sort of all built up. So threading it through one hole at a time just nice and easy to do. Of course you could be using ribbon like I say um, just depends on the size of the holes um, of your bonbon box as to sort of width of ribbon that you're using. Um, lots of people talking about budgies now on the socials. Oh dear. Lillian says, I've seen a budgie ride a bike. Mary Sorry, says, come again. <laughs> seen a budgie ride a bike. Must have had long legs. Uh, Mary says, Lily, I love it. Though. Crafting with your budgie. And Sandra says, my budgie used to play football with me, but I don't think he could craft. He wouldn't even have been heavy enough to jump on a punch effectively. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. I have a pet budgie. I remember budgies being very, very sort of uh, popular back in like the 80s and 90s. I'm not, I, don't, I don't know anyone who's got a budgie regard now. My granddad used to have them, but didn't anymore. So, yeah. They could talk, can't they, as well? Yes, they budgies. can, I think. Yeah. I think. Uh, Charlotte's budgie used to what? Mimic what? Oh, mimic the phone. So you go running through your thinking the phone was ringing and it was just the budgie. <laughs> that was quite funny. That was quite funny. <laughs> Oh, funny, funny. Anyway, I was talking over the weekend about how I've become a little bit obsessed with the old jingle bells. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I do love a good jingle bell. These are just from the uh, Sarah Signature Twas the Night Before Christmas collection. Um, Great deal on that on the Shop the Day page oh, today. Oh, gosh, yeah, I've seen those. Bli I was looking at them and saying, blimey. I've already got them, but I almost feel like getting some more. The price is there. It's incredible. Yeah. But we've got to add a little uh, bell into the middle just for a little bit of festive cheer, if you like. And then we're just going to tie our twine in a bow. Of course, you could be adding a little tag. Um, perhaps you've got a handmade tag you want to add onto this. You could just thread that through um, your bow if you wish, but we're going for a jingle bell just for that little, little jingle, a little bit of jingle onto there. And then just trim your um, tails of your bow down as much or as little as you like just to finish that off. But although we've got the lovely papers on here, we want to add a little bit more detail. I'm just going to tie that in a double bow just to make sure it's nice and secure. I want to add a little bit more detail so we're going to bring in those amazing 3D top pads that Ben was just showing you and um, we're going to decorate the edges. So these are really easy to actually decoupage with and they are all die cut. So they come in their little carrier sheets. You of course are getting both pads and like Ben was saying one is slightly more traditional uh, with all your fo foliage your pine cones, your poinsettia, your lanterns and your candles and then the other one, the one that we're using, the Christmas cheer, it's a little bit more fun and um, perhaps better for um, the younger members of your family, I think they'll really appreciate cars with all the sweet little snowmen on, something a little bit more modern maybe if you want it to be, um, but they're just absolutely fabulous and I have to say so so easy um, to work with, just popping them out, small little um, pips on here, just pop them out of their die cut designs, nice and easy to do and layer up. So popping all of those out and it's really um, simple to see the order that they go in. So with any of your decoupage, your base layer is your largest one with basically nothing cut out. And as you work up the image, the uh, layers get sort of like smaller if you like and you've got more areas cut out of those. I don't know if we're ready to do our boat yet or if we're going to have to wait till... Are you uh, should not putting this one in now? I don't know if we'll have time. Well, do you want... can, can we pop it in without the embellishments on and just say... The embellishments are on the way. <laughs> I don't know. I don't make the rules. Uh, yeah, stick it in. People will vote for which yeah. one they want to vote for then, won't yeah. they? So do you want to quickly line up the ones that you've got and then we'll, we can get the vote going. So you had your father Christmas card, didn't you? Yeah, so we started off with our Christmas card front colouring pad. It's going to be demo number one. So coloured with our um, Academy of Colour. That's one. Number two is our um, acetate card using our intricate doily dies. That's number two. And number three is this bonbon 
bag, which we'll have some decoration on in just a moment. That is number three. You've got to imagine with that one. But use yeah, one, two or three, use a bit of imagination for three. Uh, you've got about three minutes to get your vote in on that one. Uh, fire away, get voting, and then we'll do the vote for the demo of the day. And then um, we're just about done. Are you in? You know, you're not back tomorrow, are you? I'm back, but not on Crafters TV, mm. no. I'll just be, just be in the office working away. Mm. I know. I'll have to sneak down. Yeah. <laughs> Might have to gate crash one day. Just pop up. Hello, I'm here to craft. Yeah, just go <laughs> in, run around, say hello. Yeah. Sorry, Cor Corrie. Corrie's in tomorrow, I think, isn't she? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Another launch oh. tomorrow, I think. Yes, I believe she is, yeah. So, and uh, Creative Cravings. Yeah. Back to old, um, jolly old snowman. So what I like to do with my decoupage is I always shape my layers. I tend to use a pokey tool just to um, round the edges off. But if you do have your moulding ball tools and your foam shaping mat, that will work absolutely perfectly uh, as well. It's just whatever you find easiest, but do just add a little bit of shape into your decoupage layers. It does make um, an awful lot of difference just to give them brings more life to them and when you layer them up and you get your foam pads or your 3D glue gel and uh, whatever your 3D adhesive of choice when you pop that onto there it will just make it look even more dimensional and will give you a fabulous result um, to your finished piece. I tend to use um, my foam pads for my decoupage or my foam tape. I know a lot of the team um, prefer to use a 3D glue gel. Obviously we've got our amazing Colal um, glue gel that you'll find on the web. Um, totally up to your personal preference as to whatever you find easiest. I like my um, foam pads because they dry instantly. I don't like having to wait for glue to dry. I just want to get on with my crafting. Um, but if you find it easier to use your 3D glue gel, I know some people find it easier in terms of the shaping and the molding um, to use their 3D glue gels, then absolutely by all means go for that. Just whatever you find easiest, I always say, it's what it's all about in crafting, all about your personal preference. Um, but whatever you find works best for you, definitely go for that. So that's our snowman. We've laid up another decoupage snowman. And again, these are all from that same um, decoupage topper pad. Got four different separate images for our four sides of our bag. So all we're going to do is going to take some foam tape and we're going to add them to each side of our bag just to really embellish this lovely little um, gift bag and the little bell on there as well, just to finish it off quite fun so we'll have one snowman and then for our next panel we'll go for our um, Christmas tree and these have all been decoupaged in the same way that we decoupaged that first snowman um, adding a little bit of shape uh, and then adding your foam pads behind for that dimension when we come to stick our decoupage together um, and that will give you that lovely finished result. Interested to see if people have used their imaginations here. I really mm. like this now you're putting the embellishments on. Quite cute, isn't it? Wouldn't yeah. it be perfect for um, all the younger members of your family? Perhaps you want to fill it with little sweet treats um, for Christmas. I think Or nuts. Or nuts. Christmas Ooh. nuts. Oh, I do love a Christmas nut. You get the nutcracker out. The oh. Brazil nut. The Bra oh. it's the only time of the year I ever think about eating Brazil nuts. Yeah. Any other time of the year, you think, well, I don't want a Brazil nut, but Christmas time. Oh, you, you eat them till you're practically sick, don't you? Yeah, Christmas. you do. <laughs> and then you can't eat them all year round because you're sick of them. Um, but yes, they are fabulous at Christmas and that would be fabulous to um, fill with uh, any sort of gift. I'm thinking toiletries would be quite nice. Yeah. But, um, just change up your designs. You could be using any paper from those paper pads. Um, you could be using um, any of your designs from your decoupage topper pads. But how cute does that look? And with the little jingle bell, it gives it that really fun little finish. <laughs> so that is that one all finished and good to go. Fantastic. Um, Sam McDonald says, Lily is so calming that oh. I forgot to comment. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> uh, Roseanne Carbone says, I had a budgie named Scooter. He of would say, Come here, give me a kiss, give me a kiss, <laughs> and make kissing noises. I guess he was a cheeky little budgie. That's cheeky. cheeky That's what they budgie. all say, though, isn't it? Budgies and parrots. Do they? Give us a kiss, give us a kiss. Ah! <laughs> 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 oh, dear. Uh, and the devil. Demo on the show. Ah! Goes to. Do, 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 do. Give us a kiss. No. Uh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it goes to... Number one. Number one. Number one is the winner. Chris, Father Christmas. Merry Christmas to all. Really gorgeous. So um, hold it's that there. Um, are you bringing it? Oh, look at I'm you. I'm coming. So demo of the day. Numero uno. Thank you all. 
is welcome. Corinne's card that she made earlier on today on Wake Up Call, um, which is that beautiful card using actually the decoupage elements, some of the brand new paper pads, uh, that little um, tea light card, that is one. Number two is our this year card uh, using that abstract um, Christmas tree from the abstract uh, stamp and die collection which we had on our masterclass uh, Christmas set so that's number two and then number three is the one that you've just voted for which is a Father Christmas from the um, Christmas colouring pads uh, I really like that I like them all actually I think that is a a very, very uh, difficult decision. Apparently, a few of you regretting your choice in the last one. Now you saw the finished uh, sample of the little bonbon box. I did say use your imagination. Um, but yeah, get voting there. One, two, or three. Uh, it's your vote. You've got about two or three minutes or so to get your votes in. Um, on that. Don't forget as well, uh, we've still got the opportunity for you to get your hands on the brand new Academy of Colour, brand new paper pads, those have been the, uh, the stars of the show if you like. Uh, this uh, is the uh, brand new Academy of Colour, it is your um, portrait kit. So basically all about helping you um, take your colouring to the next level and like Lily was chatting about this earlier on um, and I, I liked your line on this actually because you said it in the show and you said it before the show as well, um, colouring can be quite difficult. We hopefully make it more achievable and help you on your journey with the Academy of Colour. But you said, I can't remember the exact quote, but it was something like, if you can master the art of colouring portraits and hair, people mm. see you as like some sort of colouring genius, don't they? Yeah, I always think people who can colour hair and skin, we always look at them as sort of like the masters of colouring. They're the skills and the techniques that we all want to be able to colour. A lot of the stamps that we've got in our own collection they are character stamps, so things like your Father Christmas, so things like your, your pretty little um, girls, all your dresses that you've got within your crafty stash already. Those are the sorts of things that we really want to be able to colour because we already have these sorts of stamps within our collections. But when you get this box, you're learning the skills in order to be able to colour all your hair, all your different skin tones, all your different types of hair but not only in one sort of medium, not only in your alcohol pens, but also in your amazing aqua pens as well. So you're getting all these techniques that you're gonna be able to apply time and time again in your crafting. And of course you can be using these as toppers on your cards like we're seeing here. But it's those skills that we all really, really wanna learn. We all want to know how to color portraits. We all wanna know how to color that skin and that hair. And quite a lot of the time, hair is something that's so mm. daunting to colour. But Leanne's going to break that down. She's going to teach you all those techniques. You're going to have the most fabulous time learning. It's just a brilliant colouring community. So please do come and join us. Yeah, and this is the kind of thing that you're going to be able to achieve and the kind of thing that you're going to be able to do. Um, if you've already got the original Academy of Colour, I've no doubt you've probably already bought uh, this portraits box. If you haven't, you're seeing it for the first time today, it's a good starting point, but I can pretty much guarantee that you'll come back and buy the full Academy of Colour. This portrait collection here obviously allows you to uh, enhance your colouring when it comes to portraits, when it comes to doing things like your, um, your hair as well. So you're going to get a selection of your duo colours um, in the uh, alcohol markers. You're going to get three of the aquas as well. And we also, of course, give you all of the cardstock that you need too so you get 12 sheets of your alcohol mark paper in five by seven uh, 12 sheets of the watercolor cardstock included in there too and of course those stamps uh, which have been specifically designed to not only work with the pens but also to specifically work with what you're going to see when you uh, put in that um, that web link scan that QR code to access the free tuition with the end this is what she'll be using this is what you'll be using this is how you'll learn very quickly uh, and progress on to the next stage of your colouring journey. We're almost at the end of the show, but what I hear you cry has one demo of the day. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. I can tell you it is... Oh, it's close. It's not that one. Ooh. Oh. It's between these two and one vote separates them. No way. Oh, wow. Corinne's beating you by a vote. Oh, Corinne. Corinne. I'll be having worse when she's in tomorrow morning. Oh, dear. She best be um, ready. <laughs> you got a very close second. Um, beautiful card. Thank you so much for all your inspiration, Lily. Um, you, have you got a date when you're back with us next? It's about two and a half weeks. Okay. So not too long. Something very exciting launching. 
Um, thank you so much to Lily. Always brilliant to be uh, with her. Uh, don't forget £10 Tuesday, $10 Tuesday on the website right now. Hit the website. As you go to the home page, you'll find a page straight away for these. You'll find a page straight away for these and you'll find a link straight away for £10, $10 Tuesday. So get clicking on all three is my advice to pick up some amazing deals. Um, and thank you for a brilliant day. Massive thank you to Lily. Thank you to Corin. Thank you to Jake. Thank you to John. Thank you to Charlotte. Thank you to Jamie. Thank you to uh, Susie on the socials. I think Chloe was on the socials earlier as well and Taylor it's been a long old day I'll be back with you tomorrow uh, with Corinne for more launches creative cravings coming away as well wake up call from 11 o'clock 6am Eastern until then bye for now